Uh, we live? Uh, we live? Seems good. Let's continue with space exploration. Veldak, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let me just double check this real quick. Uh, where is it? That is looking good. Fantastic. All right. Uh, space exploration. Where were we? Um, let's see. We got a bunch of iron haulers flying around, but we must have gone via Foenestra. We're heading back to Hagen Orbit. Fantastic. Uh, what's our... Yeah, 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 we're just coming back from Foenestra now. We were exploring space, indeed. And none of our ships were spontaneously combusting and flying apart at probably multiple times the speed of light. That's good. Um, we were trying to get bioscience. I think we were just about to get some bioscience, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here we go. Autosave. Lovely timing. Don't wait 15 minutes after I load the game or anything. Just... Just, just fire it up two minutes in. Beautiful. Perfect. Yep. Take, take your time. Take, take your time. There we go. Okay. Wow. We're actually pretty close. Uh, probably just like, f what, um, five minutes or so till we get our first, is that our first train load of, uh, broad catalogs? We had some here, but they're already off the belt, so this thing... This thing would request them, but they're a lower priority than... Uh, making some broad biological insights. In any case, we're going to need a couple of train loads before we get some science happening naturally. Um, I believe I calculated it takes about... What is it? 50 times 100. Uh, 5,000. I believe we calculated it takes... 1.68... About 3,000 seconds. Just under 50 minutes. Uh, if we don't have a material shortage for this block to make... A train load of biological catalogs. Um, it's going to take a very long time to go through the making science. We get four times the number of packs as that, so 20,000 per delivery. Um, but that's after we have the insights, which will make eight train loads worth of insight from one delivery. Uh, so that's good. What I'm thinking about, though, is will it take... If this can consume 2.24 catalogs per minute, uh, per second, and this can produce 1.68. Well, if this can produce 8 train loads worth, uh, the first train load is going to get delivered over here, or rather... No, it's already... Huh. It just occurred to me I have a d double pickup for the catalogs, but not... Yeah, 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 it's supposed to be like this. Single train is allowed to pick it up. I don't think I actually have a consumer for... Uh, for this back lot of... Uh, I think these insights specifically in this container are never going to get consumed. I might have to revise that just a little bit. Because we never ended up having a drop-off for them that brings in two cargo wagons. 
in that case, we could say this creates 16 train loads in a sense. Um, I'll just double check. Insight. We don't have other consumers for this, do we? Besides the science packs? Uh, we do. We do. We use them to make SIG data, and I'm pretty sure the drop-offs for those are going to be... Where, where are they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. The drop-offs for the SIG data are actually double. So there's no, re there's no need to change them. Fantastic. We will be back at Hagen Orbit in 15 seconds. Very, very good. We can turn this on because we're not using the editor right now. Jump into the editor? No, don't actually. Don't actually do that. Herix, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Have a nice stream. Thank you. I am a little under the weather still, but it's not too severe. Why is my inventory this empty? Oh, right, because we were doing... Um... I think we were going to... Vazanis? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can see from the map just now, it still had the ship. It hadn't refreshed. Uh, we're spamming solar power at Vazanis orbit so that we can clear Bombato, which is going to be our ultimate Vitamelange source. I did spend some try uh, some time, not as much as I would have liked, uh, trying to uh, trying to sort out some circuitry to make the spaceship dispatch smarter. Um, but for now, it's still going to have to be kind of... It's just going to need to have a few more idle ships than would be ideal. But I did make this uh, more combinators than I would have liked. A uh, system that gives you the minimum of a set of inputs. Uh, I'll just turn that off. So here we have some random input data. The lowest one is wooden chest at 14. Uh, it's going to go into a pulse generator. So these two get an input at the same time. And then one tick later, this thing gives red signal here. This one just says if red signal is equal to zero, output everything. Um, the input from this also goes all the way over to here which is going to say each equal to m for minimum, output each, uh, and we'll get to that eventually. Um, we have a little 10 million m, uh, an arbitrarily high number. We're going to, when this thing outputs for just one tick, we're going to send through uh, that 10 million m onto this memory cell. Um, and I can't remember when it gets reset. Uh, so then we've got the output from this thing, which is just a tick. Goes into this contraption, which basically iterates over everything. It'll output uh, something like this one for one tick, and then this one for one tick, and then this one for one tick, and so on and so on. Uh, how it does that is we use each... Uh, sorry, anything, output anything to get the one arbitrary signal. We output that to here as well, times negative one, so we're subtracting it. We're subtracting it from all of the input. So these two combinators are here, just as a straight line, one-way wire, times one, uh, to pass everything through from here to here with the same timing as these two. And then we go each times one output each. That also... I wonder if this one's necessary. Um, that also... Just kind of passes everything through here in one direction. It's not needed for that purpose. It's just signal timing. Let's, let's find out real quick if that was unnecessary. Um, so if... If it works, we should end up with 14, yeah. Uh, let's change this to 18, and... 
it's working. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so get out of here, extra combinator. Um, we're just going to say anything greater than zero output anything takes that one arbitrary signal, subtract that one arbitrary signal, and these two just pass everything through with the same timing from here to here. Uh, and then on the green wire here, we end up with the same thing that was input back here, just minus whatever we got out of this one. And that goes round and round in circles. Um, and so every, what, two ticks? I'm, I'm a little bit surprised it wasn't too fast for this thing. Uh, every two ticks, we output something, one of the signals up here. Uh, if anything is less than M, output that. And only that, I guess. Uh, since we're only receiving one signal from this, each should have worked as well. And then if uh, if we are outputting this new smaller valued signal, we then say each times one output M for the new minimum. Um, we also we output that to this memory cell. If R for reset equals zero, output M input count. So that goes round and round in circles here. Uh, and the condition to reset it is also if anything is smaller than M output R for reset. So these two have the same condition and different outputs at the same time. This one's going up here with our new value to turn it into M. Uh, and this one, one tick quicker, is going output R for reset to the memory cell. So two t uh, one tick after we receive a value that's less than m, uh, this thing gets reset, and two ticks after that we have a new m value on it. Um, and then we just say, uh, for each thing that's equal to m, output each, so if there's multiple with the same value, uh, we can output that. And this one is just subtracting m, so we're not also getting m on this output right here. And if there's a way to do this with way fewer combinators, I would love to see it. Twisty P, Evil Pla, Practical Jump Scare, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. What would you say is a minimum size for a planet outpost like Hagen? Ooh, depends. Like, you mean for a main base, like I'm doing there? Or, when you say Hagen, uh, you happen to be referring to my main base. Um, I don't know if you're thinking of Hagen as, like, a little outpost planet. Welcome in Evil Pla, Twisty P, Practical, Toronto Speak in Minecraft Redstone, indeed. Power up mute. <laughs> I kind of like that. Maybe I should make an emote that doesn't have like the mute over the over the Tyrannosaurus. Mixing up terms, uh, a main base that isn't Nalvis but most out of planet. Hmm. Well, I mean, in the long run, you could go as small as you like, and maybe that would actually. Well, no. I mean, okay. If the premise is that we need. Uh, our, if we're going to have centralized manufacturing on this uh, planet, then let's say let's say you're going to be about as big as this, maybe a bit bigger, maybe a bit smaller. Um, what's the distance from here to here? Um about 1100 let's call it a thousand so radius a thousand probably round it up a bit maybe radius 1200 i mean it obviously depends how much throughput you're going for but uh ultimately if you don't mind being dependent on i mean we are it, it is space exploration we're going to eventually be mostly dependent on all of the resources coming in from our outposts, right? Um, yeah, I would say maybe like 1,200 or so. 
just based on this. And you could always build smaller. Thanks, that's good to see in comparison. I don't think I built as big, but 1,000 seems reasonable. Yeah, for sure. Especially if, you know, late game you can... You can do more with fewer machines and less space, right? So if, if you don't mind, like, tearing up your base and replacing it uh, as you go way too many times, depending on how you go about it. Like, I kind of want to get rid of all of these industrial furnaces and replace them with advanced uh, furnaces. I guess I'll be more motivated to do that as the UPS gets lower. Um, speaking of motivated, uh, I've still got a bunch of... I've still got a few old outposts that don't use the much simpler core fragment rail system. And Nalvis still needs clearing. Are we still, uh, are we still beaming Nalvis? Yes, we are. That's going to take a while. That is going to take a while. But once it is clear, we're going to have a lot less uh, Vida activity. UPS should be better because of that. Um, and then we can trim the planet. We can get rid of all of the old stuff here, which is going to be a task in and of itself. Um, replace it with just some rail to pick up core fragments like we've got on our regular outposts. And then at some arbitrary point where we're getting some diminishing returns and taking up too much space. Um, just The space isn't really that much of an issue for UPS. It's more just how long it takes to save the game. Uh, but yeah, you know, we'll pick some arbitrary, uh, arbitrary limit where we're getting into uh, diminishing returns from the core drills and trim it there. And now this is going to be about a million times more UPS friendly than it currently is. For example... Um, I'm really excited to see our bio 2 happen, but... Ooh, we're already almost a quarter of the way into the next load of catalogs. Nice. Ooh. Which means we are making insights, and in fact, our first train load is almost here. And I just noticed the folly. Uh, we don't have any balances or anything here. Everything from this carriage goes to this side. And everything here goes to here. Uh, we don't have, like, a splitter in the middle. Um, that's not great. Since most of it, or at least a decent chunk of it, is going to be... Um, hmm. I could either put a splitter here, or I could crank up the provide stack threshold just a little bit uh, to account for the loss. Well, it's not actual loss, but like, if there's exactly 100 stacks here, and there's a belt here, and the train starts picking it up, some of this is going to be moved out before the train picks it up. And I have tried just, like, shutting off this belt um, while there's a train here. That causes different problems. Nice. I like it doesn't have balances. I also use wagon to wagon whenever I can. Indeed. Uh, in this case, we can't, though, because sometimes we're picking up with a short train, because uh, we don't need that kind of scale for... The two unique... Wait, what? Oh. Well, I was going to say, that's also true. We don't need that kind of scale for the two unique um, things that get dropped into each different level of science, apart from the previous catalogs, uh, previous uh, tier of science. But um, yeah, we're also, if only for the consistency of the aesthetic here, 
Yeah, it might have been hard to fit this as well. Yeah, I guess we could have done this. I just noticed there's a bit of extra rail there that I'm not a fan of. And I wonder if I've made the same mistake at all the other sciences. We've only got three to check. Let's have a look. That one's fine. And that one is fine. And Astro... It's probably just because I copied-pasted. Uh, copy-pasted from there. Oh. Uh, this is missing a signal. A train here would block use of the roundabout. I could go fix it, but honestly... Viewer signals... Yeah, well, uh, sure, why not? Let's fix that real quick. If we have a fly past there, I won't go out of my way. Because it's such a short drop-off and it's not going to come up very often. Okay. So where's our... Where's our... Where's our bio two? Oh, it's already been picked up. By a long train. It's going to this thing that I was going to turn into Universal Simulation. Oh, no. It's fine. We get eight trainloads of insight from one trainload of, uh, train of catalogs. Uh, and it's going to get better than that once we upgrade to a higher tier like we have with the others. Or... Or we could already be... No, that's fine. I thought we were out of tier... Tier 2 catalogs for a second there. Alright, um, let's go fix this. Jump in... Construction train. I'll start with... Astro and Bio, which we have together. Wait, what? All that production is balanced with one science assembler each? One science assembler each. Oh, yeah. Um, and it's gonna be, uh... Wait, do you mean, like, everything is measured out and perfectly balanced? No. I'm... I'm too lazy for that. To go through factory planner and, like, plan out absolutely everything's ratio. Um, but it's very, very difficult to keep up with one research server. Uh, and it's very, very... This doesn't even have a beacon here yet. It's very, very easy to this for this to go faster than our production. And we could always make multiple blocks of it. Alright, so I want to block these off for a moment. Add a spiz splitter right about right about here, I guess. And we want to convert this side as well. Oh, that's not actually going to be a problem. Pretty sure. It's going to be a slight nuisance. Alright, just like this. And I'll put the extra... Well, I was going to put it just back in here. How about half of this and half of this? That's 50. And then that goes there, and then you can have 12. And then you can have 12. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, and we should probably re-enable this. Uh, the other reason why we would want to do the split merge is 
unfortunately, sometimes we end up with, like, one or two catalogs, like, one stuck here, one stuck here, and they don't quite line up and give us an, an exact train load of output. But considering that we get, like, eight to one, uh, and when we go to tier three, it's going to be 18 to one for each catalog turning into insight. One of each catalog turning into one insight. Um, I don't really think that's anywhere near as much of a problem. Here we go with the inside. Here comes the train. Beautiful. And it is headed for science. Which means we are only waiting on another load of catalog, as expected. It's about... Well, it's more than a quarter of the way there. Now then. Where for art our other insight blocks? Uh, wait for full, actually. Oh boy, I gotta upscale? No, not necessarily. Um, so some of these are overdone quite deliberately, especially the ones that are prerequisites for several other things. Ooh, all of this is saturated. Okay, no, it's not saturated. We're looking for biomass. We've got biomass. Uh... Nope, we're out of nutrient gel, which means we're out of chemical gel. It's not biosludge anymore. Okay, yeah, this is starting to look like... Oh, why is that full? Oh, it does flow back into this. No, that should be fine. Um, This is starting to look like why I thought I didn't need to make biomass... Uh, biosludge directly. So we're actually short on chemical gel now. Are we... That's terrifying. We're short on petroleum. Here comes some more petroleum. And presumably there'll be a train to come get it. And it's going to go make some chemical gel. How fast are we making chemical gel here? At theoretical maximum. 1,000 petroleum gas per second. That's kind of a lot. And how, how fast do we consume it here? 174 per second versus... 217 per second. I wonder if we just don't have enough infrastructure to move petroleum that fast. How much do we have on the ground? That's looking pretty empty. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> I think we ate all of our petroleum. Holy crap. Oh, right. I forgot we we were putting maybe reckless amounts of petroleum. It's not that fast. We are putting four times this into making biomatter. 512 per second. That's not as big of a deal. Um, but, yeah... How much? How many oil processing blocks have we got? It's been a while since we added any. Like three or four? Can we make a more modern oil pr processing block? I think we still have to use oil refineries. Akael, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, first let's fix this. Uh, like so. And that.
thank you very much for the Prime sub. Much appreciated. I'm humbled when people choose to spend their one Prime on me. Thank you so much. Fantastic goodness. I really need to add that other emote that I was planning to. I actually have a whole bunch that I want to add. I might try playing around with AI to do it, actually. Um, could I... Here we go. Could I perhaps just not delete those already existing... bits of belt to some extent. Ooh, pick up. We're making more insight. That makes sense. When do we get bio... Uh, what is it called? I want universal simulation. We need... Uh, 100... Oh, sorry. 10 bio 1. That's nothing. Uh, maybe I should do it before the Spider-Tron. <laughs> um... 50 bio one from this one? Wait, what? Wait, 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 where's universal? Okay, what's our what's our missing prereq here? All of these bio ones, that's a lot. So we need all of the low tier. I'm pretty sure all of that's required, yeah. Every combination of what bio can be smashed together with. So we need to do these three, and then we need to do the two different combinations of three of them together, and then we can finally do universal simulation. But it's really not that expensive, and the Spidertron is. Um, so yeah. Let's work towards that. I really want to finalize my um, uh, my astro, well not astrophysics simulation. I want to finalize the um, sick data build. We've already got all of the physical inputs that we need to make it work. And here they are on a sushi belt. Kind of hard to see from the vertical view. Fraser K, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Willkommen, willkommen. Irashai, irashai. Candy belt, indeed. Doing good. I'm refactoring all my base prod. It's time to upgrade to train. My starter base sucks. Always does. Can't handle the spaghetti anymore. Fair enough. And Alan, thank you very much for the prime sub as well. Much appreciated. Welcome in. Good to see you again. Where should we focus next, I wonder? Probably should do something about the petroleum, though, right? Even though it's playing catch-up. I kind of want to maybe switch off... I think I will, um, at least for now. I think we have enough bio sludge. I do have this set as, like, minimum priority, but there's nowhere else that biomatter is going that I know of. Um, so we're going to stop making bio sludge out of biomatter, which is going to take uh, about a third of the pressure off of our petroleum. Um, because I think we now have more than enough bio sludge looping around. Probably. It's also much faster making bio sludge out of biomass. To be honest, you're a good inspiration source for my work. Nice, thank you. Okay. Um, oh, 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 bio catalog 3 is going. It's happening. Wait, wait, wait. This is where we look to confirm that it's happening. Nice. We still have 28 bio 2 left here. 
that's our first non-spaghetti, non-forced uh, Bio 2 science in the rail network. And we're about to unlock Bio 3. And except for the catalogs, we've got everything. Well, yeah, except for the catalogs and all the cards that make the catalogs, you know, minor detail. We've already got everything set up for Bio 3. Uh, that means... That means, that means, that means... Where's the other one? Which one is it? Uh, material, astro, energy, astro... So it must be energy material. Energy material. Here it is. Oh, we've got almost everything. We've got everything queued up except for the universal simulation itself. Aziz Light, Zern, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, so... Uh, we've got copious amounts of oil on this planet. I think we need more oil production. Blah, holy crap. Uh, I take it back. I take it back. We're out of crude oil. Uh, the sky is falling. Just kidding. There's a ludicrous amount of oil still on the planet. Um, we need to search entity. But we obviously need some more pumps. Because the ones that we have are running low. Here's 11 million oil. Let's go get it. And it'll be a little easier if I go in person, I think. Um, I was going to say I kind of want it to line up with where the rail blocks would go, but I don't see myself building out in this direction. So let's just... Can I rotate this like this? And Yeah, 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 that's easier paste over it, and then the neatest way to do a bunch of pump checks is to have a straight line through the middle of them somewhere. That's a little inconvenient. Oh, how about this? And just add some undergrounds after the fact. Make it easy to see where they all are. That actually saves a piece of pipe. Alright, so underground pipe. Something like that. I feel like my autosave may be a little too frequent now for how long it's taking. Because we've got multiple planets, uh, like, very explored at the moment. Let's see. Settings. Interface. Other. Autosave. 30 minutes? That was 30 minutes already? Okay. Uh, I guess... I, I guess I'll leave it as it is. I don't want to make it worse than that if something bad happens. And we'll obviously want some beacons and stuff. But... We can maybe put this around about here. Huge storage tank. That is not where I had in mind. Okay, so right where this guy... That should line up badly, actually. There we go. Okay. 
And then we just add a bit of rail over here. Maybe a little bit further across. And some signals. That will do. Let's go down there and build it. Uh, although I do realize my inventory is empty right now because I was supposed to be going to that back to that star for building. We'll do that after this because I think getting our oil flow back is a bit higher of a priority. Even though I strongly suspect the rate of consumption we've got right now is temporary as we're saturating things. Ben Wu, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, let's drive over here. And... Is our science stopped? I think it's stopped for the moment. I do have very small... Uh... Yeah, we're out of bio too. I do have the train picking up only 200 at a time here. So why has that stopped? No more catalog. Oh, it had like two catalog. It had like maybe 20 something catalogs right here. So we actually got like a science and a half out of that. All right, we're halfway done with our next load of catalogs. That's going to be all of this science and more. Fantastic. Alright, let's just manual drive it to the right here. Perfect. And we're gonna want some... We actually sh I, I guess we should actually put prod modules in oil pump jacks. Uh, in this case. It feels weird. Because <laughs> normally, uh... Normally pump jacks, the supply they're drawing from is infinite. And you're actually worse off putting in prod modules. Just a little bit. Um, but yeah. Those should actually be prods. Let's put in some beacon. Can we fit most of it under one beacon? We can. And... I need some actual power. Give me some regular old pylons. And then, uh, how many, how many efficiencies does it take to get to the center of a good ratio? That is negative 80% power consumption, still negative 80% power consumption, negative 50? It's only 50 kilowatt each, and this thing's drawing 10 megawatt unconditionally. Also, oh, that goes too far. There we go. There we go. So what's our theoretical rate here? 1.5k per second. Uh, that seems pretty good. Let's throw in a baby beacon... For this one, assuming we still have those, we do. Fantastic. And maybe just speed on this. 580 kilowatt. But yeah, I was thinking, what do we have here? 13 times 50 kilowatt, 650. Uh, that's like 65% of 10%. 6.5% of the power draw from the wide area beacon. So, I think we'll pay a bit more power here. 
get the most out of it. Four ten kilowatts each. Is about five megawatt. That's fine. We need oil badly, so why not? It's already at eighty-eight thousand. <laughs> nice. And then we need a standard pickup station. Uh, short trains are fine. We need regular provide threshold because it is uh, because it's fluid and we already have a train on the way. I forgot to change the station name. We already have two trains on the way. Oh no. Let's turn that off so I can fix it in a minute. And then we'll go and look for the next one. Doing fine, just setting up KSP1. Sounds good. What do you think? Should I stream KSP1? I am kind of looking for something to fill... This week I'll do three days of... Factorio in a row, even though we didn't do it yesterday, but um, I am looking for something to fill Tuesday since I'm a bit burnt out on Terraria. Okay. It's actually a bit of a queue to get up here. Um, is that going to be okay? Probably. KSP is lovely. Have you done much with it? Yes. Yes, I have. I haven't done as much inter, uh, interplanetary stuff as a lot of people who've played, uh, played it a lot have, I imagine. But I did do a lot with some more refined stuff at shorter range, like uh, a really, really nice VTOL jet. Um... I was playing around with Kerbal Operating System, and the last thing I was doing in KSP, I was trying to write a fly-by-wire system. I was at the stage where I was playing around with Infinite Fuel to do it, but I was trying to build a fly-by-wire system, which is... Imagine trying to fly, fly a helicopter with no computer assistance. It's actually incredibly difficult and dangerous, but... Now imagine flying a, comp uh, flying a helicopter like it's a video game. Really straightforward and easy, right? Um, basically, fly-by-wire means to interpret the user's inputs and then to say, okay, so you want to go this way and then make some calculations, look around and do something a bit more sensible, right? I was trying to build a fly-by-wire system which would basically make it impossible for the user to crash a VTOL. Uh, it would scan around and look at the terrain and, you know, if you try and force it into the ground, it'll just kind of either float just above the ground or it would, like, gently land on the ground. Did I hear KSP? I'm actually playing with KSP2 and debugging it. Nice. Good, good luck. Uh, then a journey to the outer planets with T-Hacks is a go. Fantastic. Um, what else did I do in KSP2? I made some very nice single stage to orbits back when it was more difficult. Um, actually, I think they rebalanced it, but, and it's not possible now, but I made the tiniest possible single stage to orbit that I could. It was like Four or five parts or something. It's not as bad as some people said last couple of days. Uh, I just played it yesterday. I would say it's pretty bad, actually. Uh, and the devs are really taking the piss by selling it at, like, beyond the price it should be as the full game. Um, I wouldn't have bought it if I wasn't streaming it, and I really can't recommend anyone do... And I don't expect to be able to make that kind of recommendation for a very long time. Let's find some oil. 
lot of people get into the planes in KSP. Yeah, I, I love KSP for planes. There's nothing else like it, to my knowledge. And I really don't care very much. I like making satellite constellations, indeed. I also like... Ooh, this is really close. Where is that? This is literally, like, a stone's throw away from where I am right now. Um, yeah, I liked refining uh, a launch program that I wrote with Kerbal Operating System as well. One thing with Kerbal Operating System, you could kind of cheat because... Okay, in KSP, the... The amount of control you have over rocket engines is more than you would have in real life to begin with, right? Uh, with the throttle and everything. Uh, like, it's it's more responsive, and I can't remember some other details that I think I probably learned off Scott Manley. But, um, you know, it's obviously a bit simplified, right? But even going beyond that... Uh, with the Kerbal Operating System mod, you can control the throttle to fractions of a percent. I did notice in KSP2, uh, it said for the rockets that I was using that you couldn't put them below 10% thrust. Uh, but yeah, in that mod in KSP1, you could absolutely set thrust to like a, a very specific decimal uh, you know, a fraction of a fraction of a fraction of its maximum output, uh, and get very, very precise execution of maneuver nodes if you were willing to write that program. I thought the same about KSP2. It's a shame. Yeah. I mean, I wasn't surprised, you know, especially after all the delays and all of that nonsense and and especially like seeing them change the release date at the last minute even in the last week and so on and so forth i don't want to get too much into that but like you know i was i i wasn't expecting uh my expectations were low and ksp2 failed to meet those, for now, is I guess what I would be, what I'm trying to say. Had to give KSP2 up today as it keeps freezing completely for me. That game will take a few patches to get good. Yep. Early access and you never know what you get, yep. And if they want to outsource people finding their bugs to f for free, they really should be giving the game away for like $7, like the first one. The EA is a beta? Yeah, I saw someone calling it an alpha. But, you know, I I wouldn't say I have faith, but I do have uh, some reasonable degree of hope that it will eventually be the sequel that it should be. Especially with mods. Um, but for now, for now, you know, for, for the average consumer, stay far away. Is this another oil patch? No, that's a bunch of... That's a bunch of bots hovering with coal. Um, mimicking an oil patch. Alright. Oh, it's already powered, which means we we lost a tiny bit of productivity bonus. Will we ever financially recover from this? Well, no, because there's no such thing as money in this game. It's all actual resources. Alright, uh, I want a LTN stop right about 
here, I suppose, just because that's where I usually put it. And we'll do the same thing again with the output station. I love how that lines up. Very convenient. Oh, 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 I was going to rename this station, and I almost forgot to turn it back on. Uh, this is crude oil provider, and now we can use it for a copy-paste. Beautiful. There should be... I was going to say there should be a train coming, but no, I haven't attached this yet. Nor do we have... Uh... Nor do we have a beacon to speed things up. And this time it looks like we can fit everything under the beacon. Very neat. Probably the neatest... Um, probably one of the neatest oil patches I've ever built. Alright, what configuration did we go for here? What, where is it? Uh, five efficiencies and the rest are blue. probably about the same number of... it's almost the same number of uh, pump jacks. That seems reasonable to me, especially since we need lots of crude right now. All right, let's have a look at how our processing blocks are doing terribly, which I kind of expected still. All right, what's our theoretical demand of crude oil here? 382, uh, 392 per second, let's call it 400, 1200. These two blocks that we just made are way more than that. Okay, that should keep things going for a while, unless the, the amount of oil processing that we've already got is insufficient. How much, what's our theoretical maximum petroleum from one of these? It's only 354 per second, um, which is like 50% less than we need upstairs. So I kind of wanted to do this anyway. We're going to make uh, an updated block for oil processing. I think I already used these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I already made all the blueprints. For the, for the new smelting, which looks identical, or those steps look identical in every way. Ooh, maybe I can squeeze in, uh, make it set up so that this will work with both the vanilla and LTN trains, uh, so that we don't need extra stations for these. Let's do that. So I'm pretty sure we're still stuck with a regular old oil refinery for the first step, right? Uh, I always go with... Well, I pretty much always go with advanced oil processing, focusing on light oil, since uh, we kind of get the most out of that. We don't need heavy oil on the same scale. Light can be cracked to petroleum. Um... So what's this called? Oil refinery. I don't think there's an advanced refinery. I th There should be. I wish there was. Um, but yeah, let's, let's just look at advanced oil processing. In Fenay. Light oil. Here we go. Right click. No, left click. How do we make light oil? Uh, with coke and steam. I, I'm more looking at the facilities that we can use for this. We get a little light oil when we make more vitamin lunge extract. That's not what I'm looking for. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, if we, if we want prod modules, it has to be a regular oil refinery. That's coal liquefaction. Um, 
Water and heavy oil becomes light. Oh no, that's just cracking. Dap. Uh, but yeah, basically we have to use oil refineries still. I might steal from myself because I don't think we're going to do much better than this layout that we've already got. I could have ice delivered just so that the water, keeping up with the water isn't as difficult, I guess. I don't want to put too much strain on cryonite, though. Yeah, this is probably fine. Okay. So what if... Oh, I didn't copy-paste it. What if we start with this? I'm, I'm basically going to be doing the same build, but I want to squeeze in advanced chemical plants for the cracking so that we need fewer machines and... Uh, and we get more productivity bonus out of it. Sadly, we're stuck with three prods for the oil refineries. Zaxxon, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Plan on utilizing your balances since I'm ever inching towards Arcospheres. Nice, nice. Oh, that was the type of balance error. Elite has lost its charm. Oh, Elite Dangerous? Yeah, I played a bit of that. Elite Dangerous is is a really good example of what would, could, and should be an unbelievably amazing game, but the money guys got their hands on it. Red Time Chatter, Long Time Lurker? Uh, Beth kind of sorta. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Have you considered Satisfactory? Yeah, I have played a bit of Satisfactory, actually. I haven't played it for a few updates, like maybe two updates, I'm guessing. Uh, so who knows, it might be worth a look. But I, I feel like it really needs blueprints, and from what I understand, the devs are like, no, no blueprints. Because uh, coming from Factorio, you really want to scale up a bit, right? The, the, the amount of time it takes to build something in Satisfactory that's the equivalent of, like, five minutes of effort in Factorio is too damn high. Devs haven't done much with it? Oh, no. Last update, they added them? Really? Well, which is it? Go play it, dude. There's blueprints now? Cool. Maybe I'll give it a look. Um, okay, so advanced chemical plants are what we're going to use for our cracking. Uh, they're obviously a lot bigger, but they're also uh, eight times faster than our chemical plants. So literally, we probably just need one or two for each layer. So I think we just have to reshape the storage. We also want some lubricant, obviously. So heavy to light, light to petroleum, and heavy to lubricant. Uh, and we obviously want it to fit under our carefully placed beacons that we've already got. I'm thinking we probably can't have this lovely three rows of different storages, though. Or at least we would have to disrupt them. Um... Hmm... I can definitely move the beacon down a bit. We could move all of this up a bit. Uh, normally we wouldn't have this. Or the water. We should build it close to water anyway. I don't really want trains to have to 
come here. Well, let's see. How much... How much water are we talking? It's actually not that much. 484 per second. How much does this block theoretically use at max rate, which is basically impossible? 616. That is not that much. That's a train every 97 seconds. Still better if we build it close to the water and just take the pump directly. But also, 616 is like, we don't really have to worry about the shape of the pipes very much. Okay, so first of all, um, I do want this to move up a bit, because we might need the space. And that would then be connected to the water. Whoops. I guess we need, we need to move it down at least a little bit. Uh, and then these are going to go here. Wait, where were they? One, two. So I think that much at least won't need to be changed. Let's get rid of all this for now. I think... Uh, oh, we definitely want to get rid of the old power poles. All right. We might use some steel undergrounds, actually. So that we can line these up the way we want to. Can I, like, just straight upgrade these? I can. All right. And then... We need to have room for... Heavy... I imagine we only need, like, a couple of these. Let's see if we can make it nice and symmetrical. Not quite... How about that? So, heavy to light, which would put the light down here somewhere. Uh, it needs to line up so that... Now, steel underground pipes can reach. That'll have to be one block further down, at the very least. What's the throughput from this? 190 per second. Easy enough. Well, those ones obviously don't need to be steel. Um, and we should start from scratch with these ones that provide the water. So what's our rate here? If we have just the one row of uh, oil refineries, which is probably what I'll go for. We're getting 97.2 heavy oil per second. Versus this one of these can consume 192. I don't mind having a couple of these, if only for the symmetry, but also we might one day find ourselves with a bunch of heavy oil that we want to turn into light in a hurry. Um... So yeah, water... Heavy oil is going to connect here. Let's actually remove this for the moment. Uh, and heavy oil connects like... So... And like so. And I guess light oil comes out here. And water... 
Oh wait, I wanted to change those back to not. Uh, not steel, since that's not necessary here. Looks good to me. And then... Light oil goes through here. And we're going to connect all of these together. So we know how much of each type of oil we've got. Then we want to crack uh, light to petroleum. And have this somewhere along here. And hopefully we're not running out of space. We definitely will need steel underground pipe to make this reach. Yep. And then... Uh, I'm definitely going to want to move these over. Maybe one to the right. If I move it... Two to the left. Oh, uh, well, if I move it two to the left, we've got kind of a cascading look, which I don't hate, except for the fact that this is one tile apart and this is two tiles apart. Alternatively, this could be much closer to all of them being in the same vertical spot. Had a thought, how would it look if you had a block just for crude refinery, uh, refining, and then more blocks for individual cracking? Um, it would be harder to compare how much of each type we've got for the decision making for the cracking, if we separate those into blocks. That's the main reason I probably won't do that. BP and stasis can't be as large as in Factorio. Oh, Satisfactory, rather. Uh, but it helps a lot still. Sounds good to me. Especially those little fiddly bits that you have to do over and over. Uh, especially, especially with... When you want to do something relatively compact in a small space. Uh, light would have to go here. Unless... And then, how many tiles is this? Yeah, that's that should be symmetrical. And then that would have to go there. That's not what I want. I want it to look all extremely clean and straightforward. Where can we put them? I wonder... Also, I need the water to line up. Those pesky little contraptions in Satisfactory are now in my blueprint library. Nice. Very cool. Um, so basically what I'm going to have up here, same as what I did before, we're going to have some pumps that push water into these machines. And by controlling the pumps, we can control how much cracking we do. Because they obviously need water to do cracking. Uh, this one's not going to line up so well. Probably don't want to put it there. Where should I put it is the question. Ideally, I want perfect symmetry here. With the location of the big machines. That's looking pretty good, actually. Although the pipe is going to have to be not quite the same. Uh, if that goes up there, we can definitely do this. It'll be a nice little... Uh-oh. 
Oh, there's already an underground there. That's supposed to be water. Let's finish this part. So that we don't confuse ourselves again. And then... So that's not possible. Uh, we could do it here, perhaps. Oh, that's looking... That's, that's looking pretty good. Alright. So if this goes up here... No! <laughs> God damn it. Uh, let's try one more to the left. Uh, I guess I could use the middle thingy for water as well. Okay, how about this? And from here... No. What if I use the middle one? Oh, we can use the middle one. On both of them. How... That can't be symmetrical. It's not. God damn it. Does this work? It actually does. That looks kind of weird with the pumps up there, though. Am I being obsessive? Yes. Yes, I am. Also, does this reach with the wire? Oh, it does. Beautiful. Beautiful. Where can I put it so it'll look kind of consistent? Well, because it's all on that side, I don't think it's possible. It'll have to do. That's, that's not that bad. Alright, so we're going to connect our wire to each of these. And we're just going to say, if heavy oil is greater than light oil, we can do some cracking from heavy to light. And if light oil is greater than petroleum, do some cracking from light to petroleum. Ishihogo? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I just beat Factorio Demo and I loved it. Fantastic. Nems, welcome in. Hope you're doing well as well. Alright, um, that's actually looking really good. We need some lubricant as well, but that's going to be easy enough. Now, do we have room for output stations? Absolutely not. The way I was imagining earlier, I don't think so. Um, not if we're going to have these big containers um, as outputs for... That barely fits. As outputs for the oil refineries. I gave up with demo after needing to craft 200 solar panels. Automate it. Uh, full good. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay. Uh, we need to make sure we don't miss any outputs. 
for the petroleum. Pretty sure that goes there. Looking good. And so it's going to be easy to have outputs for LTN because we can... Oh. Wait, what? Oh, I see. Uh, it's going to be easy enough to have outputs for LTN because we can tell which uh, which fluid the train is trying to pick up. But we can't share double stations with vanilla. I was hoping I could fix this so that we could have... Well, here's the thing. Even if I even if I did try to do this, I would have to have a separate pickup station for heavy oil, light oil, petroleum, and lubricant from here. Uh, so I think we're going to have to stick with... Having dedicated stations to swap things over from LTN to vanilla so it can go up the space elevator. Not that big of a deal. It's fine. Now then, in order to check which fluid the train is asking for from LTN. All we need to do is read the logistic train stop output and it's going to give a positive signal if the train is trying to pick something up. So we're just going to say if light oil greater than zero, for example. And before I even know which station is going to be which, I'm just going to copy that across to all of these. And we'll edit it. Uh, obviously, either of these being petroleum would be quite convenient. Um, did I do the connections here? That'll do. And then... Oh, uh, and we need a lubricant somewhere. Which does not need water, I believe. There we go. But I think just for the look of it, I'll have this uh, line up about the same. So we're going to go probably like heavy... Heavy light petroleum lubricant. That'll do. We don't really need a pump there, actually. Rat bag, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And, whoops. Wire connection goes here. And X Fortunes, thank you for the follow as well. Welcome on in. It was the lab researching put me off finishing for Factorio. Why do we need so many huge storage tanks? I think the tanks are too many. Uh, there is no overkill, there is only open fire, and I need to reload. But also, it actually means fewer, um, like fewer pipe segments, basically, which should be more UPS friendly, I think. All right, and then we're going to do up station. Short trains or long trains are fine. 60k uh, provide threshold. And I'll bother with the name, uh, with the names afterwards. I kind of want to put light and petroleum next to each other. Could I... 
connect this up here very conveniently, yes. Why is it saying cannot... Huh? This isn't connected to anything. What? What do you mean? Oh, 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 oh. I didn't see that one there. Sneaky. How about this one? Nope. How about this one? Perfect. Perfect. For once that warning was actually accurate. And then we could connect this nowhere. Perfect. Um, I want a pump here anyway, is what I'm remembering. And maybe put this here. That can be petroleum. Uh, I think I want petroleum down here. And we can put light here. That should be fine. That should be fine. Let's test it. Uh, so here we have crude oil input. And we have water. And that should be it. Whoops. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. There's our fluids, and we're waiting on heavy oil a bit, because I think all of all of the heavy is getting cracked to light. Let me just check something real quick. Rate calc? Um... Remove these two. Rate calc. That can actually consume all of the heavy. By a lot. Well, it depends on what we're demanding. It doesn't use up all the light. Uh, 97 versus 384. It's kind of definitely overkill. Uh, it's only two machines, though. And maybe we'll end up with a big storage of heavy at some point. Uh, light is 340 per second, minus 288 per second. I'm happy with that. Yeah, that should be fine. Alright. Uh, new block. Let's go. Light and petroleum pickup. Maybe... Maybe I should have done, like, the two things we pick up the least of next to the two things we pick up the most of. Like, heavy, light, petroleum, lubricant. Could we still do that? It literally takes like two seconds to load the train. It should be fine. If that, we've got four pumps. I could maybe set the provide threshold a little bit higher so there's more fluid here before the train picks it up so that it loads faster. But if we're that slow on it, it doesn't matter, does it? Alright, and this one uh, is going to be heavy and lube. There we go. Alright. 
That should be everything, right? Except for the requester here, which we've already got. Fantastic. And we can either do a water drop-off, um, or we can just build it close to water and pump it in directly. Cool, cool, cool. Advanced chemical plants. Nice suit. Let's build a couple of these. Whoops. Uh, actually, let's try that again. Let's build a couple of these and shift our bottleneck. And then maybe make some more pump jacks. Train stop names, yes. Um, crude oil. Advanced crude oil, I guess. Or advanced oil processing. Nice soup. And where are we keeping? I have no idea where we had our oil block. Oh, here we go. Oil slash products. There we go. Perfection. I should redo this block with advanced and with prod modules as well. But let's build this thing first. Could swap lubricant with one heavy oil cracking. More symmetry. Hmm. How fast do we use up the heavy? 96 per second. This can pretty much use all the heavy oil just to make lube. I think this will be fine. Okay. Oh, that's suddenly bright. Let's let's put some concrete here. Concrete train. Uh, right about here, please. Actually, how about down here so that you're not in anyone's way? Wait for 30 seconds plus 5 seconds in activity. My eyes, they are burning. My bad. Yeah, we need sunglasses for the snow planets. Especially after looking somewhere darker. Alright, where's our concrete train? Here it is. And this is why we put the, uh, put the 30 seconds past. Now it's finally doing something. And I'm blocking the oil train with it. It's fine. It's for a noble cause, which is to say, not burning out our retinas. Alright. Where are we going to build our new uh, oily blocks? I could and should replace the old ones, but... Ooh, petroleum's already accumulating. Well, let's at least wait till we have a couple of our new blocks in place before we try that. I could put them up here, that makes sense. Uh, it's under fluids. There we, go. there we go. I think we need to get rid of some old power poles here first. Just like that. And construction train. Ready to go burr, it looks like. Yeah, we've got plenty. We've we've got plenty of RoboPort power. It's probably fine. And wait here until inactivity. It might just have enough reach to build both blocks, but I don't think we're carrying enough to make that happen. Oof. UPS is getting a little bad. 
I need to finish clearing the biters, which is going to take a long time, and I need to simplify and speed up, drop the number of machines for uh, many of our builds. Um, so construction train is probably going to run out of stuff um, before it comes back. But we can make it do its thing, go back and empty and reset and refill, and then come back here again. Whoops. Which should probably get the whole thing built in one go. One imagines. And we need a offshore pump somewhere around here. I forgot to check how much water we theoretically need. At max rate, 772. That's not that much. Uh, I think with the shape of these pipes, that should be okay. And then we need water up here as well. Let's do another steel underground pipe over this way. We need multiple anyway. Feels bad. And uh, another offshore, which is going to go right about here, I guess. Where's our train? It's already gone gone for a loop. Uh, and apparently it has no prod modules. That's not great. Speaking of no prod modules, this, this old oil block has exactly no prod modules. That's not great either. What are we doing? Prods, prods... And oil refinery. That's a fuel refinery. That's the basic SE fuel refinery, which we don't actually have. Well, we actually have one of them lying around somewhere because we found it in a chest. But uh, we can't make them. There we go. Rod threes in here, please. And is it possible I deconned too many old power poles here? Certainly not. Ah, oh, crap, it's doing the thing. Too many pieces of rock to pick up. That's going to take a little while to sort itself out. Do we not have prods here? What's going on? No, we do. We do. Okay. Bio Science Pack 3 is still waiting. What have we got? Oh, you're kidding. Look how close we are to another trainload of broad catalog. And for some reason, we need a little bit of experimental genetic. Shouldn't we have received... That's very weird. If it were one or two, I could understand if there's like a little bit left on the belt somewhere. But like... How is it we are like... What is this? 22... Plus 21. 43 experimental genetic data short of getting a trainload of catalogs here. That's really strange. I'm gonna go give it a hand, I think. Up we go. Where's the spell evader? Oh, there it is. And... 
what was I doing? Oh yeah, stealing like one stack of experimental genetic. I don't remember ever hand feeding those to this block, so I really don't know how this happened. But that should push it over the edge and give us one train load of catalogs, which I think is the last step uh, before we automatically get some more tier 2 science pack. And quite a lot of it at that. Here it comes. Here it comes. Much excite. Don't get hit by the train. And there it is. I haven't even put modules in these things. I don't think it's necessary just yet anyway. May as well. They don't cost anything while they're not being used. And power is more or less free in orbit anyway. Somewhat. Alright. I kind of want to wait till we get... Nah, it's fine. Wait till we get Bio 3 so I can set this recipe. Is what I was thinking. Um, Alright, back to the oil. Which is still needing a lot of help. Where's our construction... Oh my god. Alright. Temporarily increasing the... Provide stack threshold there. Not the provide stack threshold, just the stack size. That was way quicker than I thought it would be. Uh, no, 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 stop, 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 stop. Get back here. How dare you. I wish I could give the train uh, a condition like it only leaves if all if there's nothing that's not supposed to be in the train that's possible but I, I'd like to send it back to the emptier if it like has more bots than it's supposed to for example that's something that I've always wished for with the vanilla train scheduling if we could say if robots greater than X go to this station, else continue with the regular schedule. Okay. Set those back. And go. How many, uh big storage tanks is it carrying? Only 20. And we need... 70? Oh my goodness. In that case... I'm pretty sure I saw we had some space. Uh, let's crank that up to... F four uh, make it 60 for the next one. Oh... More fluid, more science. Beautiful. I set a timer to stop inserting robots and remove items from the train that aren't part of the filter. Yeah, uh, something I might do next time uh, is not use the bulk rail unloaders to reset the train. Just do some circuitry stuff and some very fast inserters. There goes science. And now we can queue up 
universal simulation? Yes. Yes, yes. It is flying by. And now... Uh, let me just copy-paste this so it doesn't vomit out the stuff that's already in the machines. We're going to change the recipe to universal... Uh, well, we have to wait for a couple more. Oh, 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 good opportunity. I want to change this here. We've probably got enough... Hmm. Well, I was going to say we have enough bio insight to keep us going for a little while, but if I do this right now, we need to make four more bio cards and one more catalog before it'll work. I'm just going to put, like, a note here. Um... To do bio at three. That can wait a little while. Um, Astrobionic simulation is almost done. Fantastic. I need to move this uh, science block eventually. You can see pretty clearly which uh, which types of science are missing from here. Unless we are getting rather low on some of them. Because there's probably some energy one in here, for instance. Yeah. We won't need as many trains coming in and out of this place when I crank up... Uh, like, currently I've got it set up at the science blocks so that a train will come and pick this up when there's only 200. Uh, I can set it to be 10k instead. But for the moment, we obviously want to see results uh, with a bit more granularity instead of um, waiting for massive train loads of science. Do you have prod modules in your science labs? Yes. Yes, I do. It goes so quick. Yeah, but we've got a few of them. We have eight science labs under a beacon uh, at consuming one megawatt each, despite the beacons. Power consumption is like 1.0 times normal, I think. Oh, here it comes. And there goes the autosave again. Universal simulation, 45%. 46, 47, 48, 49. How are we doing for clearing Nalvis, I wonder? Uh, kind of good. Looking over here, there's there's not much left. It's still going to take quite a while. Once we do get the universal simulation set up, uh, I'm going to go over to... What was it? Prov something? V no, it's not. <laughs> it's Vazanis. We're going to go over to Vazanis and add some more solar panels here. Put some more power into energy beaming to clear... Uh, Bombato, a almost 9k radius planet with just a few biters on it, which is going to become our ultimate source of Vitamalanche. It seems like we've shifted the bottleneck away from Vitamalanche already, though. Whatever, it's fine. And that's it. Fat boy not so slim. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, we're going to set this to universal simulation. Wait, what was that? Oh, we need a higher tier computer. 
Oh, these are, these are tier one. Okay, okay, okay. 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 I see how it is. Do we already have tier two computers in the constru... Where, where's the construction train? I forgot. My bad. Do we already have... Uh, tier 2 computers? We do not. Are we making them here already? Uh, we are not. Whoops. What does it take to make a quantum computer? Quantum processor? Did we do those already? Uh-oh. We did not. Alright. Time... Time to make... Quantum processes, which we could have been doing while we waited for this. Oh, okay. Alright, it's... it's probably fine. Okay. Uh, we're not actually going to be building it on the ground, now that I think of it. But while I'm here, I'll get rid of one more block of rail signals that actually makes the trains take that little bit longer to path. Tangent time with T-Hacks? Terrific. Okay. Um... We don't have any more extra bits of rail sticking out. Oh, nope, looks good. Let's start with space scaffolding. Which we will remove when we're done. Uh, and then we want loaders. Might as well queue up another research, that's a good point. What should we research? Ooh, 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 all of the character upgrades. Very cheap, very nice. We may as well unlock better life support equipment. In fact, almost the best life support equipment. And... Should we go for Spidertron before we go for... That's a lot. As much as I want mining productivity. Um... You know what? Since we're getting core fragments and since we're saturated for now, this really, really doesn't matter. Um, so let's maybe queue up Spidertron? Well, I can always bump it backward if we... If I realize that uh, there's something else that I should have queued up. Is there an ETA on point 0.7? I have no idea. I generally don't update while I'm in the middle of a huge SE run. Alright, um, so let's design. What were we doing? Quantum chips. Quantum processors. We need imosite crystal, holmium plate, processing unit, holmium cable, and quantum phenomenon data. Do we have quantum phenomenon data? I think we do, yeah. It's like tier two. We we do. That's good. If I had to do one more build to make this happen right now, I would be a little sad. Okay, so what kind of machine is it made in? A electromagnetics facility. And we're going to cram in four speed modules. We're going to add beacon. Oh, there it is. We're going to go... Whatever amount gives us almost negative 80% power consumption. 
And we're going to arrange these in the usual fashion, probably 12 around the beacon. What, are we, what, what does this recipe entail? Five physical inputs, one physical output, and no shenanigans. Okay, then. That's kind of a lot. Uh, we could do, like, a sushi thing for the slowest three, and then do half belts for the other two. That might be a good way to go. I don't imagine we'll need to go as fast as this overall. Uh, 2.55 per second, that's actually kind of slow. 81 plate per second. Hmm... So, without using Fancy Belt, which I may be tempted to do here, we've got a full belt of plate, a full belt of cable, and then small amounts of these three. Hmm. And that's on one, one side, one column. How much fancy belt do we have left? Oh, the place I was keeping it, uh, it's been moved. Let's put it in a request chest up here. So it's all in one place. Deep space belt. All types. Uh, I think we only had, like, cyan, red, and... I don't know what color. This actually takes some time. What if I just scroll down? Is that faster? And then I can copy-paste the amount. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Much better. Okay. And then... Undergrounds... Hundred K? Sure. Um... Green... Purple... Red... White... And yellow? What? Oh. And what do we got? Cyan, red, and yellow. Let's get those splitters as well. Yellow. Alright. We've got 200 yellow, a bit over that for cyan. 67 red. Only one underground for red, and one splitter. Four undergrounds for blue. Uh, ten undergrounds for yellow, and plenty of splitters for either. So let's call it 200. Uh, and we could have half belts. For Holmium Plate and Holmium Cable. I asked ChatGTP on your behalf. Uh oh. Six months as I count it right. Is there an ETA on point seven? What's the question? Played point five would want to play again with the new mechanic in point six, but point seven looks so awesome, and I know that I won't finish new run before release. What to do? What did ChatGPT say? All right, uh, and we would need. Let's see. Five plus ten plus 
less than three. It's less than 18 per second. We could use a regular space belt with sushi for all of the rest. I could do the sushi down the middle. And we could have the output for the long arms on the outside. That's our individual input. 6.8 per second for each. Uh-oh. Can this keep up? Uh, what are the other inputs? Let's go a couple of these. And long arm. And output. Yeah, surprisingly enough, the the shorter inserter can easily keep up. Well, I wouldn't necessarily call it easy. Yeah, it does get some idle time. Yeah, it keeps up pretty easily. Cool, cool, cool. Alright. So then... Let me do our little sushi. Where is the fluid going to go? Oh, there is no fluid. Nice. Let me just sort this out the way I usually would. Make it look a little less confusing. You should probably not have those... show those inputs and outputs if there's going to be literally no fluid. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And we need to find room for the sushi controller. Which uh, I would like to put here. That should be fine. So we're just going to have three inputs from each. Is that right? Yeah, that looks right. Alright, and that's going to be processing unit, imasite, crystal, and quantum phenomenon data. Processing unit, imasite, crystal, and quantum phenomenon data. Do those all... No, they don't stack the same. And then we're going to go red wire on here. Uh, limit each. Use some amount. If we're only doing... Uh, if we're only doing three solid inputs here, we have room for two train loads for each. So I don't think we have to worry all that much. We could literally just allow, like, a couple of stacks each into this container if we wanted to. I could put a delivery cannon chest here, just so it doesn't have to be as big, but no, it's fine. Oh, uh, do we actually have room to do fancy sushi stuff here? <laughs> Quite possibly not. I could do it here. We'll definitely want... Let's turn this around. We'll want the recycle there, and then we can probably do something like this. So what do we want here? Let's see the rate. I'm thinking 
the two purple things on one half of the belt. And blue can be on the other half. Easy enough. Let's see. Two purple things on one half of the belt. Well, let me just do it here and then we'll copy paste. Didn't I find a way to do this with one less splitter if we have a container that we're looping back into? Well, let's figure it out here where it's not so cramped anyway. So normally we would do a loop and a priority input from the loop. And that way we get a full input from here. It gets split 50-50. The only thing that that red filter does is makes nothing... It means nothing's allowed to go here. Um, splits 50-50, recycles half of it, priority inputs the split half. This part slows down and we get a 50-50 output here. Um, we need to put blue on one side of it. And then... And then we need to do like a 50-50 on the half belt. Oh, alternatively... I could put blue on both sides. That might be easier. Blue on both sides and just merge in both? Is that going to work as easily as I imagine it? Merge in both on separate sides. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Immersite, Crystal, and Quantum Phenomenon Data. Quantum Phenomenon Data. And then... Do we even need this? No, we don't. That's it. That should be fine. That should be all it takes. Uh, let's do it like this. Oh, that's okay. Do it that way as well. Let's see. And then this goes here. I wonder if we could have fit it here after all. Probably. Probably. And then this just goes up here, I suppose. That's pretty tidy. Alright, let's check that it works. Um, we're just going to do... A infinity chest up here. Shift right, shift left. Remove these two. And then... Super, superior inserter set filters blacklist and I forgot to set these as well uh, how many stacks have we got here? 256 so uh, almost enough for a train load of each let's say half a train load of each can go in here So, 50 times 50, 2,500, 5,000 for this one. Hmm. 
This one is crystal. And this one is quantum phenomenon data. Cool, so that will allow a certain amount of each in here, leaving room to recycle. More than enough throughput. Uh, so we're basically getting half a belt of blue and a quarter of a belt of the two purple things. Which gives us way more than we need to make this work. Nice, nice, nice. And if we're going to do that... Uh, well, I was going to say one thing, but... There's no need for... Oh, wait, wait, wait. We want uh, We want to have room for the output still. Let's use some red long arms for this. Two, four, six. Two, four, six. And white belt, like so. And it occurs to me I might want to move the whole thing just for the aesthetic of it, but it might not line up that well now. Okay. How far across would I want to move it? About be four tiles? That wouldn't work so well. Let's just live with this. Do I want to do short trains only for quantum? I don't think so. What does it go into? AI core, efficiency modules, 100 at a time. That's two stacks. Uh, probably not. We'll probably just do the standard pickup station here. Use a delivery cannon chest to input both of these and limit this one. And this one to one cargo wagon each. Provide stack threshold 100. And short trains are permitted. Fantastic. Alright, so this is going to be called Quantum Provider. And then... We're going to need a little splitty split here. That's going to need some filters. Uh, holmium cable and holmium plate. Holmium plate. Oh, and we should probably, should probably put some of those in here. Uh, how about this? Wait, that's going to make the... That's going to make this input thing not work properly. I, I think we can assume that that part will work. That's probably fine. Alright. Uh, cyan underground. Start here. And then... So 
something a little bit like that. Only, uh, I guess we could do it like this. That looks a bit weird. Alternatively, we could use a bit more cyan belt. Now it makes this one look weird. That's more consistent. Max noob question, but how do I remove items off conveyor belt manually? Uh, hold F. That's the default key. Alright, that should be fine. That should be fine. Uh, and we're going to allow... It, it just occurred to me we've got five physical objects we're dropping off. Are we really doing that in the same train stop? We can fit six train loads, so 1.2 train loads of each should be safe. But we're way faster, like more than a stack per second, on the plate and cable. So instead, I think we'll go like 1.1 for everything else. Uh, 110 times 100 is 11k. And it should be half of that for the other two crystal, the other two slow things, that is. Uh, 5.5k and quantum phenomenon data. Bonk? Is the sushi belt really 50% blue chips? I think it's 50% of the dark purple items. Since they're managed, since they merged in last, so guaranteed 50%. Uh, I think you're right. Hmm. Let that go. All right. Um. In that case, can probably just reverse this. That looks right. Yeah. Order matters. I don't think it would have mattered if we're getting a quarter of a belt. Yeah, it wouldn't have mattered until we sped it up. Because if we're getting a quarter of a belt of processing units, it's still more than 10.2 per second. But yeah, good catch. Okay. Uh, so we were going to put 1.1... 310... Uh, 330 stacks out of 640. And we've got 310 left for these next two resources. So we'll do 150 stacks each of those. Uh, that's not counting what bits in this container. So that should be more than safe enough. Um, how long does it take to go through 50 stacks? 2500 over 81.6, 30.64 seconds. Our trains are pretty fast, but yeah, we've got 30.64 seconds to replace Holmium Plate and or Holmium Cable the moment they're running low. Uh, maybe I should take into account how much space we're using here as well. Turns out it's about 156 stacks, so... 640 minus 330 plus 156, was it? We've got well over two train loads um, that we can request for the high throughput items. And I think we will do that. So we'll just go... I'm going to separate them. Call me um cable and hold me um plate. 
And they're both stacked to... Oh, no, they don't. Uh, 100, 100 times 2. 50, 100 times 2. Cool, cool, cool. So it's actually going to take a lot longer for the Holmium plate to disappear. Uh, well, that's probably fine. I don't mind having a bit more Holmium plate stored here. In the long run, it doesn't really make a difference. Uh, and then we just do the station name. Whoops, 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 whoops. And furthermore, whoops. Request stack threshold 100. Uh, long trains only. Station name is... Electromag facility making quantum processes. And we are requesting processes, crystals, data cards. Uh, what? Holmium plate and Holmium cable. Cool, cool, cool. It is a pain to make those names, but when we click on a train and immediately know exactly where it's going and why, it's very handy. And yeah, that's it. That is our build. Let's remove the extra scaffolding. And add a little bit more back in so it looks less tacky. Maybe like that. Maybe we should do some fancier flooring. This is a high end build, right? It also makes the superior inserters actually visible. Which I definitely prefer. How does that not have the diagonal on that side? Hurry up, auto save. I'm gonna grab a drink actually. water feels nice. Um, I kind of want like a diagonal thing here. Veldak? <laughs> Thank you for the greeting. Is it, uh, it just looks strangely purple? Not blue purple? Oh, the belt? Yeah. Definitely. What is that? Oh, I just removed stuff. Okay. That makes sense. Whoopsie daisy. And like, like so. Um, it's going to look a little different. I kind of don't mind that actually.
It looks very space y I guess. Right? Give me some more. And then... Fantastic. Maybe I should start doing all my builds in space with this uh, needlessly expensive floor. Oh, that looks way cooler. Definitely. Definitely, definitely. Much better. Kind of like that, too. Okay. That'll do for now, I think. And then blueprint. Uh, what are we doing? Quantum. Quantum processors. Processor. Snap to... Wait, what? No, no, no. Let's get rid of the cheat items first, otherwise it's going to throw off our XY right after I do it. And... 86.25.1. And that's 69 cyan belt, nice, and four undergrounds, which I think we still have. I certainly hope so. Alright, some kind of production. Uh, components, I guess? All right, let's put that in our actual game. Where should we put it? Blue circuits, purple things, other purple things, other purple things, and quantum data is uh, down here somewhere, but that's super slow anyway. It's really just the Holmium cable and Holmium plate uh, that it needs to be close to. I'm pretty sure quantum uh, chips are kind of agnostic about... They're supporting uh, energy science, quantum supercomputer, AI core, shield generator, burgers and fries. Thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. Uh, so if anything, they're supporting energy science the most, and if I put it like here, it's going to be really close to the stuff that we have to dump into it anyway. Or pretty close. So, yeah. Maybe like here for quantum, quantum processors. Let's grab our scaffolding train. I think there's a bug with train ships that may break the logistical design I'm doing my rebuild around. Oh, that's unfortunate. Well, welcome in anyway. Hope your stream went well otherwise. Try the paint bucker for replacing scaffold with plate plating. Paint. Paint bucker? Pink bucket? Is that a thing? Remove infinite chest, indeed. Rackenzie, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Alright, scaffolding train to here, please. Wait for... just wait indefinitely for the moment. Science is going burr. 
And I think that's the last bit of science I've got queued up right now. We can get prod six. It might be time to do a production chain to make those. What else can we research with bio two? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Spiders, spiders. I think we already got spiders. Holy crap. I didn't even realize. All right, uh, mining productivity six, let's go. And seven. That's a lot, actually. Like, really a lot. Maybe I'll put it off a bit, because we're getting almost everything from core fragments already. Designed builds for doing 16 to 24 green belts of red, uh, green, red, and blue cards and electronic components. Wow. That's a little fast. That's more than a little fast. Where's our train? Where's train Kun? Here we go. Oh, there's still some hidden scaffolding behind there. Even though I was pretty sure I, like, overwrote it. Well, it'll never be visible. It's fine. Let's get our construction train ready. We need 12 uh, electromag facilities, right? Do we have room for that? Yeah, we do. Cool, cool, cool. And park yourself down here, I guess. Wait for inactivity. Now that we've got the plating in place. I don't know why we're missing the scaffolding here. For the solar panels. There we go. Seems good. Anyway, I've been up longer than I should have been. Good night and have a nice rest, uh, rest of the stream. Thank you. Take care, burgers. Hope you have a good rest yourself. Oh, and I forgot to bring the deep space belt. Which... I think it'll be easiest if I just place it myself. So I'm going to hop in one of these trains. And we'll ride it back to the station. Where is it? UPS is getting a little sad. Especially while we place signals. Oh, I also need a 4x4 container, which we don't usually have the train carry. Just need some steel plate. And now I'm hungry. Fantastic. I still haven't updated the copper core fragment planet. Um, how are we doing for processing... Copper core fragments. We could definitely bring in more core fragments. Twenty-eight point eight per second. Because I don't even have a beacon on this side yet. Tumbling. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome into our no kraken stream. Uh, let's get rid of the electromag facilities, and we also don't normally need the mechanicals. Okay, what was I coming here for? The cyan belts. And we do have... That's actually half of our... Uh, half of our deep space... What am I doing? Turn this into a storage. 
Actually, I should have turned it into a buffer. Whatever. It's done. Let's ride the fast train back. Yeah, no, a trash heap fire. Oh no. Where are we going? Um, down here? Wait for, I don't know, full cargo. Just don't leave me. Yeah, I expected it to be bad, but it it still failed. It still fell short of my expectations for now. I thought it would be a difficult decision whether I should be streaming KSP2 or Factorio for the moment. As in, I was still going to stream plenty of Factorio, but like, over the next few days, right? I forgot the... I forgot the 4x4 chest. Um, but suffice to say, especially in the last couple of hours... Pretty clear I'm going to wait on that one. Alright, let's get the construction train to carry... Uh, a 4x4. Four four. What's this stack to? 30? Maybe I should make it standard. We apparently don't have 30 of these. I only ever use one at a time, so... Do that. And then... Fuck yourself here. Wait for inactivity, and that should do it. And then we need a tag, or quantum processor. When you count in seconds per frame rather than frames per second, yeah. Yeah, and the frame rate was bad in places where it was just really, really basic geometry in the background. Like, I don't know if it was rendering the entirety of Kerbin on both sides. Even if that, even if it was doing that, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't even want to speculate. It's, it needs a lot of work. Let's put it that way. All right, so there's our quantum processes already. Um, remains to be seen whether we'll get... 500 of these before we have Holmium issues. Uh, we should already have enough quantum phenomenon data for a train load. Imosite crystals probably not going to be a problem. Processing units probably not going to be a problem. Holmium, uh, I imagine at this point, is probably not going to be much of a problem. Yeah, it's looking decent, at least. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, no. I think we have enough Holmium for the moment. The train that drops it off here is waiting for this to empty. That, that's what comes up the space elevator. It's being boiled down to the complexity of fuel calculations. What? If you have many engines... Fuel flow through the ship and such. Onion staging. It bogs down like a grandma. I, w I wasn't doing anything like that. I was doing really basic stuff. It was all graphical slowdown, actually, for me. And my machine, it's not the most expensive you're going to find. But MacWarrior 5 Mercs, uh, it runs it pretty well 90-something percent of the time. It does have a few hitches, but I think that's poor programming. Like... When enemies spawn in, uh, there'll be a bit of a pause sometimes. That stuff could absolutely be done slowly, as the player can't even see it. But yeah. The dump thing, as far as I know, is that they redid the fuel calculation and it's still this bad. Oh no. Kellogg's, good to see you again. Machine Freak, if I didn't say so earlier. Alright, so I don't think we're going to have trouble getting uh, a trainload 
of quantum processes, and what I'm realizing right now is I'm not even looking for a trainload of quantum processes. I just need a bunch of them so that we can make some... Uh, Hold on, 50, 100, that's 5,000. Uh, I just need a bunch of them so we can make tier 2 computers. So, how many do we need? Like... Uh, 48, I'm guessing? 32. We need 32... Times... Oh, we need 32 stacks. Of quantum processes to make our supercomputers. All right then. It's still pretty short of a hundred. I think I, now that we've got more computer stuff happening, I think I want to move that onto its own combinator. Where in what did I have this set to? Forty. Let's just do 50 of each. If I do a negative signal... Uh, it will ignore it as far as trying to make them is concerned. And I should be able to search it later on. If I forget about this. Search for signal... whoops. Uh, computer, deep supercomputer, and there it is. All right. So now we're going to try and make some quantum computers. Uh, apparently we're out of glass of all things. That's kind of alarming. Where is glass? We've definitely got plenty of glass. Okay. Is it just train... Are we not requesting it? Did we just go through a backlog of glass and I forgot to update this? No. 21k, I'm pretty sure, is more than 100 stacks times 200. And we've got... 6.8k glass lying around. So why did I, did I, surely I didn't forget to request glass here. Logistics storage 6,820, satisfaction zero, on the way zero. What? Logi bots, what are you doing? We keep putting quartz in here. How much, how much quartz am I requesting? Here it is, 50. Did I forget to whitelist quartz? I, th I think I did. Alright. Quartz, negative 100. That shouldn't be tying up all the logi bots though. And why are we moving green cable here, of all things. Oh, probably to make, like, I forget which combinator, or train stop, logistic train stops. That's gotta be it. Um, did I forget that one as well on the whitelist? I think someone, yeah, 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 this is the same set. These two are too close together. Okay. Uh, I think... Oops. I think someone mentioned having a version of this that works without a whitelist. I don't know if, theoretically, this container would eventually fill up in that case. Now what are they moving around? I don't see very many of them moving, so I think we've fixed our looping. But we still don't have glass. Why the hell not? Logistics storage, 6,000, and so on. Oh, is it all in the... Wait. 
How could glass be in buffer chests? Why have we... Okay, where's the glass? Glass is... That, we didn't merge those, did we? No, we're good. Where is your glass? That's a request to chest, that doesn't count. It is in here. What? Why am I requesting glass here? I'm not requesting glass here, how did that... What? Silicon? Hello? What? 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 Why are there... Why are there random things in these buffer chests? What? I, I don't... I don't understand. Uh, we're gonna blacklist. And... There's five things that are supposed to be in here. For better and for worse, K2 gives us four filters on every level of filter. Uh, so... So what? Maybe I should just whitelist one thing at a time. Till they stop swinging. Does anyone have the slightest idea how we ended up with these containers full of glass? Big electric motors, low density structures, Logistic tech cards, automation tech cards. I think this is from when we deconned the old spaghetti. But, like, the only things these ever requested... These are buffer chests. The only things they ever requested were scaffolding and stuff for this train. Budgie bum. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. From the Great Spaghetti Cleanup? Yeah, I can see that, but, like, there's no reason that any of these should have been allowed in a buffer chest. Do they put things in here if we run out of storage? The Great Spaghetti Cleanup, you didn't put down chests first, they dumped into them. <sighs> How are you seeing a summary of your logistic network contents? Uh, you mean when I was looking at this request. I could see very clearly there that we had a bunch of them, a bunch of glass in storage, but none of it was on the way. Welcome in, Zaxon, if I didn't say so. Dominique TV, welcome in. Uh, how is the mod called which shows where stuff in the Logi network is located? Uh, the mod is called Factory Search. And it is one of the best mods I've ever seen. It does things that I wouldn't have thought of. Like, it, it allows you to figure out things that I wouldn't have thought of when I, when looking for a mod called Factory Search. Um... What should we research? Oh, we can do meta catalog. Let's do that. I also need um, advanced tech cards at some point. Oh, that's bio 3. That's going to have to wait a little bit. Lab research speed. That's not productivity, so I don't really care. But... Well, no, I really don't care. Matter fusion. Oh. Matter science pack one. Oh, wait, those need matter science packs. That can wait. That can wait. Pressing L? Uh, yeah, pressing L. That's a thing as well.
Okay. Wait, we have 18k... Amosite cave core fragments. 31k Holmanite core fragments? In this block? Oh no. And apparently a deconstruction planner. There we go. It's missing in the mod list? Oh, that might be true. My bad. My bad. Alright, so we finished this build, right? How many, uh... 800, 1600... We need 32 times 50, right? Oh, that's 1600. Perfect. Let's go grab them. I'm not going to wait for a train load for these. Can actually just put it here for now. Actually, wait for. Uh, wait for time past. Okay. Doop a doop. Fantastic. Can we not research this? Oh, we do need... No, it should be researching. Yeah, it is. Give me this. And give me that. We already got it. Beautiful. Bring it into the mall, and we shall have our tier 2 computers. Oh, but first we need to request regular supercomputers. Um... How about just, like, one, honestly? Because I don't want them... I don't want them sitting in the buffer chest, for the most part. Then again, it's not like I'm going to be... Well, I am going to be shoving them in a different buffer chest. And I don't want to have to make too many excess. Are we not leaving? Can we go? Okay. Nice and fast. Learn something every day, it seems, <laughs> indeed. Yeah, it's it seems the one's work is never done learning Factorio's features. Alright, there's our tier 2 computers. I wouldn't be surprised if they're finished already. No, I forgot to request quantum processors. And I'll whitelist up to 50, or up to two stacks of, uh, of quantum processors in this chest. And that should, oh, yeah, we already got some. We're out of processing units all of a sudden. Which seems to be having the same problem as we had before. Processing unit. Okay. And then LDS electric motor. What else have we got in here? Logistic tech cards. Alright, that now looks like it's supposed to. Fantastic. Red data cards. What? What? What's it called? A tech card. And then... A little bit of steel. And then 
green tech cards. Base assembly machines, I guess. And I think that's it. I think we fixed it now. Cool, cool, cool. JD, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Is this the new Factorio Space Program 2 I heard so much about? Indeed. Uh, maximized stability. No Kraken. No FPS drops until you have a ludicrous amount of stuff happening. Very nice, very reliable. All right, what do we got here? Quantum supercomputer. We've got eight for some reason. Why eight? Did we run out of processing unit? I think that's a superconductive cable. We didn't run out of quantum processors already. I counted. We need we needed sixteen k. Uh, one point six k. What? No. No, that can't be. Where's... Where's the rest of them? Let's look again. Quantum supercomputer. 50 quantum processors. Times 32. 1600. We grabbed 1600. Why have we got 8 quantum supercomputers? I... I... I don't understand. I liked the Kraken, always mixed things up and led to great booms. Uh, it wasn't really mixing things up with my last mission. It was... it was happening very regularly to the point where I couldn't get a single Moon mission finished. And yes, thank you, Jay. Uh, thank you, Veldak. Good mod. Did I like? Did I miss something? Did I not grab sixteen hundred quantum processors? And yes, we are bottlenecked on holmium as expected. Even though I thought we had practically infinite holmium. Um. That's kind of weird. I broke the game hard. I couldn't move around, couldn't move anything around the VAB to the launcher, any launcher. Oh God. Unfortunate. We have Holmium cable here. Don't tell me. Are we actually bottlenecked on how fast we bring it upstairs? I think we are. Yeah, I think this uh, 45 per second right here is the problem. Well, I'm not overly concerned about that for the moment. Um, although maybe I should... I mean, I'm sure I should increase the throughput here. What did I set this to? 10 extra stacks. I might set that to 20. And make these purple belts. And what the hell, make that purple belt as well. And then we'll grab our construction train. So we're just doubling the speed of those belts there. And then we'll find out if our bottleneck is having probably only one train bringing Holmium Cable upstairs for now. I 
I'm glad I kept... Oh, great. Um, I, I am glad that, like... I, I did the self-imposed challenge of not using that third-party mod that lets LTN go through the space elevator. Um, and I figured out going from LTN to normal train to up the elevator and back to LTN and vice versa. But this whole having to count the number of trains that you have for each resource thing, uh, I'm finding that a little bit, a little bit archaic, a little bit obnoxious. Best EA launch ever? Indeed. My saved ships went poof. Oh no. No, no, no. Anything but that. I hope you didn't have to tweak them to make them work. Like, to, to get all the parts where they're supposed to be. Too hard. Name in base? Tiny Goliath? That reminds me, I think I've got some queued up. Uh, no worries. Uh, upgrade to gold. Okay. Well, first me, first let me do... Oh, let me double check if I did this already. Sol Solovix and Philip B. Uh, there's Solovix, so I probably did Philip B. Does anyone see Philip B.? Did I do Philip B? Or is it on the ground maybe, or did I not do it? El Pancho, welcome in. And Rocket Tom. Me please, uh, and me please, no worries. Um, Alright, I'm just going to do a Philip B here. Is that how I spell it? Let me double check. No, no it's not. All right, there we go. Uh, and then we've got, holy crap, El Pancho. Veldak. Uh, and Earthful Guide. Need that too, indeed. And then... People wanting an upgrade to gold. We've got Tiny Goliath and... Ho holy crap. Okay. Where is Tiny Goliath? Can I, like... No. No, I can't. Alright. Tiny Goliath. I'm not spelling that wrong, am I? Considering it takes up the same space, probably not. Rocket Tom as well. Uh. Rocket. Rocket Tom was upgrade to gold, right? Or was that supposed to be name and base? Rocket Tom. It was upgrade to gold, wasn't it? Well, yeah, it's in the upgrade to gold list. Where did we do Rocket Tom? Is it on the ground? Boop doop. Rocket Tom. Oh, and there's another tiny Goliath. Hmm. It's okay if not. 
Oh, you just want a regular name then? Sure, sure, sure. Rocket Tom. There we go. Fantastic. Uh, Solvenix. And El Pancho. <laughs> Uh, let me paste that again. Velda. Rackenzie? While well, I'm doing the others, where's Rackenzie? So many. Rackenzie. Have we got a Rackenzie? That's RF Holloway. Put that on hold for a second. Philip B again. Oops. No, that's fine. Do we want the 100? It's regular name, not upgrade. Oh, that's okay. Reckon Z. Zaxxon. Pretty sure I saw Zaxxon somewhere a moment ago. There it is. There we go. And Sigma Bean. There she blows. Crap, was it B E A N or B double -E, e N? B E A N. Thought so. And. Veldak, I'm not cold on the ground. <laughs> Fine. Veldak. Perfect. And then we have Zern. Where is Zern? In space? Uh, do we have a Zern already? Or was that supposed to just be a regular name? Zern... There are other locations, but these are by far the most popular these days. Upgrade Budgie Bum? Is this on the ground? Wait, no, I was thinking of... Someone else. Where is Budgie Bum? What? Mine was back in Nalvis. Okay. Do you want gold at Nalvis? I did. Yeah, someone did. I did go to the trouble of setting that up. Oh. Spiders. Um. Here we go. Damsel cooler than my clat. My clat bringer of deadlocks. With no C. Was that my fault or someone else's? Uh, so was it Zern on... On Nalvis? Maybe I should make these alphabetical. I can't actually search for a Z, by the way, with factory search. Oh, there it is. And then... 
Where did we put the... What is this? Concrete? Stone brick. Stone brick. Uh, so that's Zern done. We have a name in base, Tiny Goliath. I'm guessing this is at the top of the elevator. Uh, how about down here? Since I think I saw you at the bottom of the elevator already. And then... Three from Bungie Bomb? <laughs> okay, all three on the ground. All three? Wait, what? Oh, I think I remember. And Har Har Harnad. I don't... Wonder 129 Hello. Wonder 129 Hello. Did we do that before? Wonder one two nine hello. Uh, anyway, we definitely have budgie bum times three. All right. Budgie bum. Cool, cool, cool. And that's everyone except for Harnad, who says wonder one two nine hello. Upgrade to gold. Is that back on Nalvis, or was that supposed to be a new name? Just put it anywhere, no worries. Uh hello Harnad. I'm guessing I'm guessing you're just looking for a new name. Correct me if I'm wrong. That just barely fits. I kind of want to put it over here. Oh, that's that's a little tight as well. How about... That's going to look a little out of place. I want at least two spaces between them. It's just going to have to be kind of a tight squeeze, I guess. Okay. Nav? Does that mean Navis? Or down here? No, we already have you in gold here. Navis. Glacier Wolf. There's so many. There's so many. Oh no. I don't see Oh, there you are, Glacier Wolf. And then Rick. And that should just about do it. Beautiful. Cool, cool, cool. What else can we research right now? Um, Alright, can't we do laser damage? Energy, weapon, damage. 
No, we need advanced tech cards for that. Right. And we need bio 3 just to unlock advanced tech cards. Okay. Thank you. Right then. Where were we even? I feel like I just woke up from a long nap or something. Let's get our concrete train back over here. Can I put it here? Not really. This should be fine. Wait for some inactivity. And how's our oil doing? Not great, but it's not empty right now. Crude oil input is empty up uh, in one of the blocks at least. Oh, we never finished this build either. Oh no, that's tying up a few trains. Alright, let's see if we can get it done. Oops. And... Wait for inactivity. And wait for inactivity. It's probably going to be a couple of items still not placed unless we've actually got everything except for a few pipes actually and huge storage tanks. Don't tell me it just went there with nothing. Bloody hell. I wish you could give it a temporary stop without yanking it from the stop it's already at. That would be lovely. Okay. Now then. Since my brain is kind of empty at the moment. Uh, let's perhaps grab some more scaffolding. Which, for some reason, is not in here. Oh, it's little bits. Sure, sure, sure. And head over to Foenestra. Uh, just to get a shorter trip to somewhere else. Got plenty of fuel, etc. Alright. So we're going to go to Foenestra, and then once we're there, we're going to make Vazanus our objective, our, our destination. Otherwise, it would take like half an hour to get there. Uh, and we're just going to add more energy beam power so that we can clear it a little bit sooner. Or a lot sooner, because it's a very big planet, even though there's not that many biters. Speaking of clearing, now this... Ooh, that's looking good. In fact, I think we have to start scanning Nalvis again. Like, pretty soon. I don't think we're currently scanning anywhere. Stop all scans. We are, apparently. That's Bombato. Holy crap. Uh, so Bombato is actually... Yeah, 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 there it is. What's our radius? 8,800, I think? Yeah, 8813. So we're gonna go... Square bracket GPS equals... 8813, was it? And that's gonna give us... The edge of the planet. That's Nalvis. I forgot to specify... <laughs> I forgot to specify uh, the planet. Okay. Uh, let's see. I guess this means you can... Wait, wait, wait. Let me do it from another surface. GPS equals 0, 
Bomb, uh, bomb batter? Is that spelled right? Let's find out. There it is. So we've only scanned uh, it's probably less than half of it, considering it's a radius. Gets bigger the further we go out. Um, but yeah, this is the size of the biter nests at the edge of Bombatu, so not that difficult to clear them. The beam is almost keeping up with the scan, which is taking forever. But there's more than enough left over um, for the beam, to keep the beam busy for a while. Let's scan Nalvis so that we can keep our beam going. Otherwise it's going to run out of biters. And not in the way that we want it to. Where's our scanner for Nalvis? Uh, are we scanning Nalvis? Stop all scan. There it is. Scan progress for Nalvis. All right, that's going to take a while. That is going to take a while. We are at 6.2k out of 10,000 on our way to the anomaly. And I think this is as good a time as any to take a little break. My brain's a little bit fried for the moment. Um, and we are waiting on a couple of things anyway. Did we fix this, though? I definitely want to get that in motion. Yes, but also no. Oh, crap. Oh, no. I forgot when I removed the old power poles. Um... How about we do green wire here, red wire here, and then we can piggyback across the pump. And that's not going to work on this side, is it? No, it is not. I think we'll just do this instead. So we've got a whole lot of trains trying to drop off here because we're not reporting to LTN how much stuff we've actually got. Construction train. And up here as well. That should be enough. Here it comes. That's wrong. <laughs> this goes here. And that should hopefully add enough storage to let the fluid wagons leave. Fantastic. And we got some prod modules in this old one as well. Oh, I should probably prioritize uh, the ones that have better prod modules in the crackers. Cool. 
And I need to do a more advanced uh, version of this build as well. Which is to say, a version that uses advanced chemical plants. Uh, well, it would only be for the cracking. Maybe I could copy the same thing and just remove a bunch of these. I'm sure I could make it fit better anyway. We also have no beacons. Yeah, seems fine. I'll get around to that. We are at Foenestra. Let's go to Vazanus Orbit. Just double check. This is, in fact, the Xanus orbit. Fantastic. Bottom tank's not wired either. Bottom tank. Oh, the outputs. Uh, that won't actually cause a problem, at least. No, nope, they are. They are wired. They're fine. And these three huge sets of tanks are wired to each other and the pumps so that we can decide which cracking area that we're going to supply with oil. Oh, 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 the offshore pumps. Oh, that's kind of important. Do we have offshore pumps over here? We don't. I've always handcrafted them. But maybe it's easier. We do have offshore pumps here. Okay. Offshore pump. Give us one stack. And toss it in the back, I guess. Until further notice. Alright. Here comes our pumps. Why did they just disappear? Oh, I thought we fixed this. No, oh, oh, it does kind of work. I forgot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. There's our offshore pumps. And apparently we're still trying to load beacons. Uh, I'm not going to worry about that right now. Alright, construction train should be able to reach the offshore pumps from here. And is this one already powered? It is not. Pylon... lighted pylon. No, not a substation, that's overkill. Oh, that doesn't reach. Fine. There we go. There we go. And this one's output is broken. Because it's missing a single steel pipe. There we go. All right. Fluids. Well, that's way more fluids than I thought we had. Uh, crude oil production and consumption. Seems to be trending up. I'll have a look back at that later on. All right. Three minutes till we get to our destination. I'm going to take a short break. We'll do some words on stream. Some philosophical slash high level point of view. Bidirectional trains or not. What is the best setup? Uh, Bidirectional trains are more mass for the same job. But it does let you save a lot of space. 
um, depending on how you build your rails. Hi, I started watching today's VODs and I don't know if you already changed it, but the threshold in the new oil pump stations is 60, not 60k. Oh. Uh-oh. Ruh -roh. The request threshold or the provide threshold? No, that seems to be correct. Pal Palusal? Welcome, welcome. I hope you're doing well. I remember you looked at that a few weeks back, replacing all those chems with advanced chems, dropped it down to needing, like, two. But space was at a premium. Yes. Bottom tank's not wired. No, we're good. I am the sky. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Provider in oil resource. Oh, these ones. The new... The new pickups. Yeah, you're right. Uh, luckily they're so fast that it didn't actually cause any problems, I suspect. Especially because we were, uh, bottlenecking elsewhere. Why do we have a bunch of missing concrete? Bruh. This one got done properly, at least. Bad train. I guess wait for like 30 seconds of inactivity might do it. Hiccups, yes indeed. Alright. I'm going to take a break real quick. We'll start words on stream in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
Okay. Let's continue, shall we? Oh, here we are. At Vazanus Orbit. Nicely done with the level 4. Absolutely crushing it. Maybe we should do some words, some more words today. A bit later on. See how far we get. Maybe break our record. Alright. Uh, we are here to spam scaffolding and solar panels and drop some more energy beam injectors in here. I certainly hope we brought them. We should have. Yeah, 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 we did. Fantastic. Okay. Let's get our nice, neat scaffolding. Heading up this way. I'm sure we're going to be able to make a lot more than what fits in this corner on this one trip. Whoop. I still haven't built a Spidertron. I just haven't felt the need with the construction trains. They're so good. But we could use them for some small scale biter clearing. Um, or even some medium scale because they're pretty effective in that regard. Probably would have been better actually than setting up energy beaming from here. On the other hand, um, I can obviously, I, I can obviously do the clearing with a lot less personal input. This is the more efficient use of player time to clear this planet. But maybe for a smaller one where we don't want to set up energy beaming in the future. Combination of jetpack not needed? Well, it really does add up. See for Calidus, indeed. Alright, let's grab some more scaff. Um, let's just throw all the scaff down first. And I should probably pick some more research. We can do the biogone, but that is honestly so good for killing ourselves with or destroying our factory by accident. I need Astro 4 to do Naquium Processing. I need Matter Science to do Matter Fusion. I need or I need... Oh. Oh no, I need Bio 3. I forgot for this one. I don't really care about construction pylons or radar pylons. Radar construction pylons, that is. We can make the labs slightly faster, but I really don't care yet. Robot follow account, I don't think I care anymore. Um, I mean, it is eventually an infinite research, but we can save it for then. Oh, here we go. Nope, that needs bio 3. Uh, I'm never using energy shields, honestly. Actually, I haven't tried them with this version. Maybe they got improved somehow, but I was... I, I can try making some lower tier ones first. But I was pretty unimpressed with how if you move fast, you not only lose energy shield hit points, but it drains battery. I might just knock this one off so I don't have to see it again. And Yanni, thank you for the follow. Ooh, character inventory. Yes, 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 yes. We need Bio 3 for the next tier of that. Uh, lab research productivity. I should have done this sooner. Let's do that first. Character speed. Character health. Why not? Character movement. Wait, what's the difference between character movement and... Oh, crafting speed. Never mind. Uh, I guess we could make better health packs. Don't really care, to be honest. We could do some more zone discovery. That might be a good idea. And I 
think that's probably fine for now. Okay. Let me just measure up two more units of this repeating pattern. Which, conveniently enough, I've got right here. And... kidding. That's actually pretty much perfect. down here, and give it back, Ooh, look at my character go, alright, and swoosh, nope, we need some more. Researching seems like it's a pretty big thing in game. Uh, yeah, research is an arbitrary consumer of resources. Uh, so that you don't just sort of build everything you need really quickly and then there's nothing to do, I guess. It's also, it, it also gives you something to do with like, it's not just how much, but how fast, right? If you want to try and make better builds and stuff. And burr. Makes sense, indeed. Alright, we've actually got quite a bit of scaffolding left over already. Um, let's grab some... some pylons and all of our solar panels. Probably bought more scaffolding than we can support with the solar panels, I imagine. And then we need much solar panel. That should hopefully all line up. Pr no, no. Why does it do that? With the first... When you first start dragging it across, it always skips a few. And now all of these are off. I think the rest f sorted itself out, though. Okay. doop a -doop. Fantastic. When do we get inventory? Oh, we did. No, that's what we're doing right now. done. I think we're out of solar panels. Uh, solar... I definitely should have brought more. Yep. Alright, I'll remove the ghosts for now, because the more ghosts you have lying around, the less responsive your bots are going to get. Because they check them all from everywhere, I guess. How much power do we have? Um... We could go another 17 gigawatts. Oh, yeah, let's get the bots to do them. That way I don't have to dig through the... I don't have to dig through the chest to figure out where they are. Much more power. That's pretty close, actually. This is fine. It's nice and symmetrical. 
So we're now putting 44 gigawatts into this beam at 51% efficiency. So 22 gigawatt. I think that's going to be more than we need to clear this planet at a reasonable rate. Very nice. Alright, let's head back. Oh, and I totally forgot... Um, no, I didn't. We've got ammo here. Alright, that's fine. Back to... Foenestra? Because if we go via... If we don't go via Foenestra... Well, let's actually head there, because the first bit of the trip is the same. We'll get up to max speed, or thereabouts. Our ETA to get straight back to Hagen Orbit from here. From here to here. Is about... Looks like it's going to be like 40 minutes. At a speed of 149. Or, alternatively... We could go via Foenestra. Yeah, a little bit over 40 minutes. Which will take about 6 minutes. Twice. Assuming... Well, if we ignore the fact that we're going to lose all of our speed the moment that we get to Foenestra. And we assume that we change our destination the instant we get there, as if it was automated like on our other ships. Uh, it's going to take 12 minutes to get back home. And a lot less fuel. It was 42 minutes before you started moving. Oh, really? Well, that's good. I should use that next time. Cool, cool, cool. Now then. We've got our inventory space upgrade. Beautiful. I'm going to turn off the clamp so that if I jump into the editor, when we get back to Hagen Orbit, it's not going to get me stuck in the editor, which has happened before. And then we tried suiciding, and we respawned on Nalvis, and all of our stuff was hostile, and we were surrounded by... Um, by gun towers, actually. Which, it turns out, can chew through your hit points in about... two milliseconds. Give or take. The slushiest... The slushiest of pants. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Nice name. We are actually making quantum processors at a decent rate. We don't have any here yet, though, so that's going to take a while. Oh, 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 did I... So we still just have the eight supercomputers here. What if... What have we got? One point... We've got almost 3,000 here. I'm pretty sure I calculated that we should have had enough earlier anyway, but... Let's get a train to pick them up early. Should be taking it to the mall. I don't think there's any other destinations yet. Oh, there should be one more destination for Quantum Processor. Here it is. Which already has what it needs. Okay. Good to know. Don't think we've even... Oh yeah, we have. We have unlocked Energy Science 4. There we go. Everything but Catalog 4 is good to go with Energy Science. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, which science do we need for the Advanced Research Server? Bio 3. Okay, that's like two things that I really want that are behind Bio 3. So maybe we should hurry up and do it. doop doop And I think we just needed, like, 
like everything else is in place. We need four data cards. What are these trains doing? Rut row. That's weird. I think this 17 experimental biomass that's missing could probably be more than accounted for by the difference in the lengths of the belts. I'm just going to increase the provide stack threshold here a little bit. Was it like four stacks off? Five? About four. So if we set it to provide stack threshold 110, that'll probably resolve that problem. I think what happened is this got full. We, we had this problem at a different train stop. We assumed that because there was a splitter here, these be equally, that these would get equal amounts. Um, but because the length of the belt differs, it didn't work out that way. Which only happens because the containers got full. Um, but now that now that we're struggling to make experimental biomass, um, that imbalance actually matters. Where are we making? Huh. Apparently we're short on bio-sludge. But I thought we were saturated on bio-sludge up here. Oh, that's pretty empty. And that is getting closer to empty. Hmm. Where is our bio-sludge then? Maybe it's because I turned off this thing? But I thought this was accounting for, like, not very much of our bio sludge at this point. We've got tons of biomass in here, so why aren't we... There's plenty of bio sludge here, and this isn't working because of... This is working. Okay. We're missing experimental genetic data, which requires... Um, genetic data, which requires bio-sludge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, how is it we've got tons of bio-sludge up here? Or, more than enough, anyway. For the moment. I would have thought, with how it was earlier, that we might actually be starting to get to the point where... Where we would end up with too much bio sludge stored. And the way it would go around in circles um, would actually end up with a really big problem. But apparently not. Also, we've got quite a decent amount of contaminated bio sludge up here. How long how fast is this? 1.6k per second. That's probably fast enough. Although I don't really see the harm in doubling this now. So we need 12 decontamination facilities. Decontamination. Fantastic. What are we trying to load? Computers that we don't have. Okay, that should be fine. And then I don't know how much if at all that'll help but I was surprised at how slow this was well slow ish yeah I think it's actually already super unnecessary But that's one less variable to think about.
We're not making bio sludge that fast because this is one bio sludge per recipe. Making a whopping 20.8 per second. I didn't actually put a beacon here, but it's almost it's basically impossible to keep up with the biomatter. 208 per second. Down on the ground we've got... If we've got enough petroleum, which it seems like we do now. Only 51 biomass per second? Biomatter? Huh. It's less than I thought it would be. These are all the vanilla scheduled trains, so nothing's broken. Uh, this is looking broken. Oh, I see. The, the old block also used... Used the old power poles to connect the wires. Let's bring our con train up this way as well. Wait for inactivity. Fantastic. And that should... F oh, great. That should fix itself with no more oversight. Whoops, 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 and furthermore, whoops. Don't leave without us. There we go. There we go. Now what's this guy doing? Oh, 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 I never actually... Set those filters. Okay, this should be petroleum. This one's lubricant. Greater than zero from the logistic train stop output. Tells us that the train wants that resource. There we go. Xylo, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let's copy-paste this down here, and go. And that fills up pretty damn quickly. Nice. That should hopefully be the end of our petroleum problems for a while. Um, should I... I, th I think the answer is yes. Um, should I go get an infinite source of crude oil? I've only got one in system and it's quite small. Um like it's really small actually. 1.17k radius. I wish I could check before I go there how much, how many core fragments we would actually get. Because different types of core fragments have different rates. Um, and I'd love to know, like, how many core fragments per second could we expect if we covered the entire moon? I mean, it's probably worth it anyway, if only because the proximity is so close. Uh, I think we did search for crude oil specifically eventually, because it wasn't showing up. We've got a few that have very little solar, which means they should be far from... Wait, what? Oh, I was looking at Brett. Find a few more planets, might be a good idea. Small and medias. Oh, beta medias, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it might be worth setting up an outpost there. Probably is, to be honest. I 
I want to know how much oil I can expect from a block processing oil core fragments. Let's grab one of our other processing blocks. How about a bit of melange? I know I did that relatively recently. And without worrying about the piping or anything, we're just going to change this to crude oil. I could go ahead and make prod four, uh, prod sixes eventually. Well, obviously, eventually, but I do have the technology for prod sixes. Um, wait, what goes into a prod six? Doesn't say here. Vitalic reagent, I'm pretty sure we already have. Broad catalog, we already have, although that is expensive. Tier 5 is 50 bioscrubbers. That's actually really expensive. So 100 bioscrubbers to make a tier 6. Two regular catalogs, one broad catalog. Um, and then 204, no, it's multiplied by two again, uh, 480 vit extract. I think we can put off the higher tier modules for a bit longer, but we could absolutely start doing this. Let's say we do tier three for now. How much crude oil can we expect? 253 per second from 48 oil core fragments per second. That is not much. That's actually a lot less than I was expecting. I mean, it is constant, it is infinite, but like, I'm, I'm really glad we're on a planet with tons of oil. Are we here? Oh yeah, we're here. That was quick. Um, yeah, with K2, crude oil is finite. But luckily, we've got this much crude oil on Hagen. Um, we also get other stuff. We don't just get crude oil. Because any core fragments are going to give us a bit of everything. Or at, at least a bit of all of the basics. But yeah, our last outpost we made for crude, for example, is almost 2.4k crude per second. Um, so like 10 times faster than more than a blue belt of core fragments of crude oil. Pretty questionable, honestly, to bother with the crude oil core fragments. Unless you really, really, really like the idea of making an empire that can run indefinitely. Except for Naquatite, of course. First three tiers cheap, four to six, hee hee, now you're gonna pay. <laughs> Kinda, yeah. Alright. Um, Nalvas is creeping towards being fully fully scanned. I think we've found enough biters for the moment, in any case, to keep the energy beam busy for quite some time. I want to find more biters on this planet so that our energy beam doesn't stop. It is by far the easiest and least resource-intensive way to clear a planet of biters using energy beams. But... what is that beam? Here it is. Uh, but it's by far the slowest. Well, no, it's not the slowest, but it... Out of the high-tech solutions, it's probably one of the slowest. I don't know how much faster the beam can get, either. Or if this is maxed out. Yeah. 
those behemoth biters have a lot where did the beam just go <laughs> did it just give up because there were no like buildings here or something and it jumped uh, after all that it just jumped over somewhere else yep all right well as long as we can you know mark it as extinct at some point Oh, 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 how's our computers? We got them. But well, we got 30 of them anyway. How do we get 30 of them? Something fishy is happening. I keep bringing way more... Uh, way more quantum processors than we should need to make, what was it, 32 quantum supercomputers? And we keep running out before we get to, I think it was 32. Oh, they're in here. No, wait. Oh, we do have... We've got like 60. Oh, cool, cool, cool. We've got it. Quantum Computer 32, wasn't it? Don't tell me we had a bunch of them there all along that I didn't notice. Whatever. It's fine, as long as we get this done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need 32. I think it'll allow it to have more speed modules as well. Alright. Let's park ourselves here. And we need to set the recipe in a way that doesn't make the previous items jump out. Universal simulation still outputs blank cards. So I don't think this is going to cause any issues. And go. Nope. No, 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 don't t Oh, no. Well, I guess I'm going to be dealing with that. Okay. Why did it drop them? It's using all the same inputs. Why couldn't it keep them? Whatever. It's done now. I'm kind of digging how empty my inventory has been lately since I haven't been using the personal logistics and since I left a bunch of space so that I could place scaffolding. Should I let the bots pick, pick these up? Oh, don't tell me we need a different super cold thermo fluid. No, that... That hasn't changed. Good, good, good. So why am I not seeing the buildings activating? Apart from the outputs being full. That might be why. That might actually be why. But didn't it just vomit all the... No, it was the input that it dropped on the ground. That's really weird. It seemed... I think it held onto the Astro Insights? And everything else it dropped on the ground? And the outputs it didn't drop on the ground. Okay then. Uh, but yeah, sadly, we have ludicrous amounts of significant data here. Uh, so we don't get to see our... Our universal simulation kick in. What's that bit of belt doing there? Well, uh, I guess we can just... There's like 50 sig data that... Oh, I see, that's all blank. Hold up. Oh, yeah, 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 we do have to take sig data away. 
for that'll work. Why don't I summon a train to steal some sig data? Significant data. Do we have room? We have room. Let's just this once request a whole extra train load of sig data. And away it goes. That was really quick. And there it is. Oh, can the belts keep up with it? I think I already tested, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a really, 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 really long recipe. 240 seconds. Uh, and it needs... 1836 inputs from the inserters. So that shouldn't be a problem. Um, but yeah, there it is. A universal simulation. We can put in more speed modules. Let's do that. Computer tier 2. Thank you, thank you. No, I didn't mean to change that one. Oh, god damn it. Have some efficiencies, I guess. What speed is this? Minus 80%. I need some more speed modules, I think. We've got some more speed modules. Alright, what are we at? Negative 70%. No, that's perfect. That is perfection. And then I'll just dump all of these in here. Somehow I never picked up what? Bio insight? Fishy? What's fishy about it? That's a nice emote though. Can you have more than one beam working at the same time? Yes, you can. We need uh, one hit, one clear planet. That does exist, but if you use it on a Vitamelange planet, you won't have any more Vitamelange. So, if you don't need to if you're not averse to war crimes there's a more pragmatic reason not to do it i guess the energy beam is pretty war crimey all right universal simulation we will never have to update this again we could give it faster computers if we want to, but probably not necessary. That's really cool. I'm very happy with that one. Sushi for the win. We're only using 8.1 of each type of insight per second, so significantly less than half a belt for two of them. What's a war crime or two on an intergalactic scale? Uh-oh. We're going to start to realize everything's meaningless uh, uh, if you really think about it. This is not a philosophy stream. I need to copy, paste, edit to make Bio 3 catalog. Oh, we're having no trouble keeping up with Bio 2 catalog. That's nice. Um, which 
You wouldn't think that was the case, considering that we can't make... Oh, there it goes. Uh, experimental biomass. Alright then. Alright, I think I've procrastinated long enough. Um, we should probably... We should probably start making Bio 3. The catalogs are going to be a copy-paste edit job. Um, and what data cards do we need? Catalog 3. Bioelectric data? Oh, it should be uh, 9, 10, 11, 12... Bioelectric data, cryogenics data, decompression data, and radiation exposure data. Yep. So, let's see what they have in common. Um, significant biomass, blank data, and a fluid. And it outputs 90% this and some junk. Go back one. Uh, same format, except that the input fluid is thermofluid, and we're outputting biosludge as well. Also, this is made in a biochemical facility. This one is made in electromag. This one is mechanical, and this one is radiation. Mechanical and radiation have the same shape. Uh, experimental biomass in blank, one solid, one fluid out, no junk. This one needs a swappy swap, and it outputs fluid. So they both output contaminated biosludge, right? Yes. The only difference between the two of them, in terms of the shape of it, is we need swap chests for the radiation exposure data. So we might do these two together. So we can share a output fluid station. Uh, this also makes contaminated biosludge. This one does not. They both make junk cards. One of them doesn't have fluid output, so we could use uh, like the junk card pickup for the 25 degree thermofluid pickup. Yeah, I think we can probably do the first two and the second two together. Let's do the decompression and radiation exposure data first. Even though those are three and four. And we want... Radiation... Facility... Mechanical facility... A bunch of tier 4 speeds, and wide area bacons. With probably four speed modules in them, negative 70% power consumption. Fantastic. And then... Something like this. What's the recipe? I think it was decompression data, right? Yes. And this one is, of course, radiation exposure data. Alright, so we're going to do our output fluid perhaps in the middle. And then same-ish over here. We need swap chests um, for the uranium-235 that comes back. 
Unless we want to do some kind of sushi thing, but I don't think that is particularly necessary here. Hmm. Everything's pretty slow, though. Wow, everything's really slow. We could pretty much make this any shape we want. Three solids for input. If we're going to do sushi, we need a container um, to shove things back into. Well, let's say... Let's say we only request... That's the wrong... That's the wrong one. Let's say we only request... Very slightly more than one train load of each. Like... 106 stacks each? How long does it take to go through six stacks? Um, what's the fastest thing that gets consumed? Oh, 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 oh. Biomass is slow in terms of actual units, but very, very fast in terms of stacks. So I don't think we want to do biomass that way. I was thinking of just cramming it all into one container to simplify the sushi build. But yeah, we obviously need more than like six stacks of buffer before we summon another train for biomass, if this is ever going to be going full speed continuous. Um... But the total for the entire thing... Oh, do we have power here? I'm pretty sure we do. Yeah, we do. Got plenty of power. So it's actually that slow. If we do a sushi belt with like half and half blank data cards and biomass on one side and uranium and nothing on the other side, then we can just output straight back onto the sushi belt. Seems a good. We've got our Casa Sushi. And we'll probably just drop in one of these containers. Again. That gives us a total of 640 plus 256. Uh, 896 stacks. We barely need more than 100 for the slow things, right? Like, how long does it take to go through a stack of blank data cards? 12.25 seconds. And uranium... Uh, stacks to 100, I think. I keep thinking it's 50, but it's actually 100. So... Uh, that's 49 seconds. I could summon a... I could ask for 101 stacks of Uranium-235, and that'd probably be safe. Let's say we go 105 of each of these. Um, so... 250 over 4.08... We'd have over a minute to bring our blank data cards. And... Uh, the biomass, on the other hand... Okay, so we're going for like 220 stacks between those two. And we said we had almost 800, or was it almost 900? Yeah, almost 900 stacks. I think it was 896. 
896 minus 220. We could have like six train loads of... Uh... We, we could allow, theoretically, a request for six train loads of biomass. So I think this will be fine. But yeah, we'll go like, say, 120 for the other two. And two or three whole train loads of biomass. Probably two, since there are other things requesting it. Biomass. Uranium-235. Does indeed stack to 100, and blank. Data card. Alright. Biomass. Uh, 500 times 2. Two train loads. 235. 110, 100. And we want half of 11k, 5.5k for blanks. And that should keep the spice flowing. So then we want... Let's see. Where do I want this to line up before I build it? Still got those ghosts over there. At this point in the game, uh, can you show off your production thing? So we can see how much you produce of stuff per 10 minutes? Uh, not really, because... As I continue to build things, like, most of our builds are saturated, and then I make something new, and then there's an enormous demand for resources that we can't keep up with with our current outposts. Uh, and then it's, like, empty for a while, and then it starts going super fast for a while. It's not built to be able to go consistently as we're continuing to build it, basically. No one left planet, there is no evidence? Oh no. Alright, so... Well, for this one I could just... Let's not do that. What's our sushi gonna look like? Probably a lot like this. Input, 50-50 split, priority input, this one slows down, 50% output. Um, and we need that for two half belts. So I could easily, like... Do uranium here, and some other resource here, and then... And then we would end up with gaps from... Ooh, I think I see a way to do this that's actually surprisingly easy and neat. Can I, like, face this down here? Okay. So we're going to do uranium on the right, 235, uh, biomass and blank on this side, doesn't matter which is which. Blank here, 
biomass here. Okay. And then we bring it all back in over here. Now then. Biomass. Uh, uranium-235 and blank data cards. We want about equal in here. Say 80 stacks each. That's 80 times 5. 400. And this one will be 4,000. And this one will be 8,000. forget to let LTN know what's in here, which suddenly I have the feeling I forgot in a previous build today. Uh, but I haven't seen any pro- nope, we didn't forget it. I think we would have seen serious problems with it by now, if that had been the case. All right. So we can copy paste that down here, copy paste this over here. There's only three solid inputs, which is fewer than the number of filters that fit on an inserter. So I'm just going to go check the container that you're pointing at, set filters blacklist, and shift right, shift left. And it's hard to see, but that's actually working perfectly. We've got uranium-235 and a 50% empty on the right side. And we've got half blank, half uh, biomass on the left side. Easy peasy. A little bit of biomass extra at the front. We don't care. So anything that doesn't get picked up is going to be shoved back in here. I wonder if I'm cutting it to... Holy crap, what? Oh, I never actually connected this red wire. That's why. Okay. So we should find... Wait a sec. I wanted to see if this would fill up too much to let the rest back in at the end. I don't think so. Could probably leave more room for the biomass than anything else. Nope, that's totally fine. Even if it were to somehow all fill up at once. Like, if we forgot the storehouse. Cool. So then... We start making data cards. And we out we need a filtered output of uranium-235. Or, alternatively, I could output everything uh, to the outside of the belt. Our output adds up to 6 per second, yeah. Yeah, we can just output everything to the outside of the belt unconditionally. And just filter it off. Um, I might want to... Is this going to work? Okay, the name of the data card is Radiation Exposure Data. Oh, it seems to implicitly have priority. That's extremely helpful. Wait, no, does it? No, it doesn't. It's... Hmm. Hmm. We can end up with some radiation exposure data stuck in there, but only insofar as... Uh, the biomass comes first to remove... So if we're taking from it, does that fix it? Let's see. 
So we're going to put a filter right about here. Or our actual desired product. Limit that to 50-50. And... Do we actually get any... Any radiation exposure data coming out? We do. I think if any of it is coming out, this should probably work. Or will it... Oh, we're... We need to output the fluid as well. Um, let's do it here. How fast does it make the fluid? 10 per resource. Maximum is 40 per second. That's actually... For bio sludge, it's kind of fast. And then... Maybe I could move all of this over a tile. Just to make that line up conveniently. Wait, no, it's not going to line up conveniently, because the underground wouldn't fit here anyway. This is about as good as it gets. then shove it in here. Cool. That's actually pretty neat. I like that a lot. Now, does it get the data cards out? It does, surprisingly enough. Because biomass stack size is so small, we're always like getting rid of it. We're always cycling it. So unless the data card was up here somehow. Should sort itself out eventually. Also, just in general terms of what resource we tend to run out of, it tends to be biomass. Well, I guess we can always wait and see if this causes any actual problems. We could always, like, filter off... Uh, the radiation exposure data somewhere else. And bring it back and avoid the box. I mean, we could do that, like, right here, actually. In fact, maybe I will, just to be safe. So that's always going to have priority. That's going to end up on the wrong side of the belt too. Which kind of messes up the input, but probably not by much. Nah, I didn't like that. Put it... Uh, put it where the uranium is. Where it should be. That looks pretty dodgy, honestly, though. Hmm. What if... Yeah, that, that kind of gives it priority. That works. Just slide it in. Why not? Why not? No one would look at it again, but I would know it's there. 
Cool. That should work continuously, which it looks like it is. Here, here, here. All right, let's do our, uh, what is it called? Decompression data, which is same, same, but different with the shape. I think I would like to put this about here. Now inputs are, again, very slow. But we've only got two solid inputs, we can just do like a 50-50 belt, just like this. Easy enough. Experimental biomass and blank data cards. We've been having a very easy time keeping up with blank data cards this playthrough. It's been it's been very different uh, from last time with which resources we've struggled with the most, and I think that's less to do with playing a different version and more to do with moving to Hagen and having a giant copper planet next door and having tons and tons and tons of iron and copper on the planet and crude oil. and not very much sand or stone and hardly any coal but then we found out we could turn oil into coal all right uh and then we simply put this here That seems fine. There's only one solid output. And then we just do our fluids, which... If I'm going to put the inserters there, might be a bit of a pain. This also is going to be a little bit of a pain. Not too much, though. Just copy one of these. And once again, this can go here, I guess. Make that up there. I think it'll look more similar to this one if this is down here, actually. No, not really. Okay. And then there's actually no obvious place to put the inserters here unless... Unless this. Alright, let's do our test inputs. Um, forgot to shift click this first. It's probably fine. There we go. And yeah, this seems to be having no trouble whatsoever. I really like that little elegant solution of just have a filtered output for the radiation exposure data here. The inputs are so slow that it's not going to cause enough of an issue with the, um, with the actual inputs being blocked by the output. 
just checking in. What science is this producing? We're doing tier three bioscience. And this is the last two data cards for that one. Although I haven't done the first two yet. So both of these output uh, contaminated bio sludge. Wait, I thought there was going to be coolant for this one. I guess I was thinking of the other pair of builds. So I could have just done one pickup for contaminated bio sludge. It's probably fine. I could even join these if I wanted to. But then we might end up getting two trains coming for bio sludge. And one will end up waiting here much longer than it's supposed to. And maybe blocking the actual pickup we're looking for. Um, alternatively, I could just pipe the bio sludge over to whichever build. It's only 63 per second. The cards come out at the same speed. Like the exact same speed. Hello all. A train. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Captain True, welcome also. Alright. We're going to do a high priority pickup for each of these. We'll just leave it as it is for the sake of symmetry and the, the neatness of it. That's already correct. We can allow short trains just in case we want a short train of data cards for some reason. I don't think we will actually. I can always change it if uh, if that turns out to be the case. All right, so bio sludge and. Radiation, something, something, data, exposure data. And this one is decompression data. Subjecting our poor little bio samples to decompression, I guess. Over and over and over again at scale. Ethical noises. Alright, uh, I forgot to put this filter here. No, I didn't. Holy crap, I thought I told it to remove. Oh no. Um, how about this? H how about just delete all of that? That is emptying surprisingly not very quickly. Um, how about deep space loaders? There we go. Much better. They look kind of like regular space loaders, just tinted slightly darker. Well, not quite slightly, but they're not black exactly. Alright, so now our filter works correctly on the inserter. Because it's not overwhelmed with more than four types. Oh, we've got the same thing here, somehow. I guess it makes more sense that it was symmetrical. And that all seems to be working just fine. Uh, next we need the... What are we requesting? Experimental biomass and blank data card. Both are slow, but experimental biomass is fast for its stack size. Um, so we're going to ask for... At least two train loads of experimental. Five times a hundred times two. 
uh, and blank data card. What can we fit here? Six train loads. Yeah. Blank data card should probably just be like 1.5 train loads. I think we already did the math over here, right? 5.5k, if we're consuming 4.08 per second, should be fine. Cool. And then we are requesting experimental and blanks. Going into mech facility and out comes decompression data. And over here we are requesting biomass, the uranium 235. Blank data card. And it goes into a rad facility. And out comes radiation exposure data. And then we'll just tidy up the scaffolding a bit. Uh, in fact, I think I'll continue making the fancier scaffold. Let's remove everything. Should have done the fancy to begin with. I'm going to take space platform plating and build it over all of this and we'll tweak it a bit so it looks nicer. I definitely didn't mean to put that much there. There we go. Perfect. Let me just make this a bit bigger. Then. Oops. All right. Make it all look all deliberate and futury, I guess. Relatively neat. Same thing over here. That actually looks pretty good. I don't know if I can replicate it here though. No, I can't. Eh, close enough. I think we can leave the sushi pretty much as it is. more than is strictly necessary. That well, looks pretty good, I think. And this little upgrade right here looks 10,000 times better. And I think that's our build. There, sure. Okay. 
Okay, are we missing anything before I blueprint it? What is this data card doing on the floor? How did that happen? Oh, signals in the middle. Which I think I forgot in another build, possibly. No, I don't... I think this is the first one with, like, two builds in one block. That I've done today. Oh, the oil probably missed these sorts of signals. That's no, probably fine. Alright, blue print. And we're doing data card and data card. Decompression radiation exposure. I can't think of a way to mash those together. Decom rad expo data. And 86.25.1. And remove cheat inputs. And realign this. And that should be it. And this will be the second of two builds for tier three signs. Okay, let's figure out where we want to build that. Also check on uh, the new oil build. And sure enough, ooh, Spidertron, I keep forgetting I even researched it. Um... Honestly, considering I have construction trains since a very long time ago, it's nowhere near as exciting. Construction trains versus Spidertrons for building, I would say, is a side grade. Um, but I really, really prefer the construction trains for building inside the rail system. When we're building an outpost, like like on the same surface, like way out here, the Spidertrons would be much much better. Gonna make getting that oil a breeze. And maybe deconning old builds as well. Okay, so I definitely want catalog three and four over here. And we could maybe but the data card builds for three and four here. Everything's still pretty close together. Back one level. So like this. I do see the scaffolding that's left hidden behind the train stops. It's fine. I can live with that. And wait for inactivity, say, 15 seconds. And before we get the construction train involved, actually, what do we need? Like 12 of these and 12 of these. Fantastic. And I just need to make sure that I catch the train here to place the flat solar panels. I think we're done loading for the moment. Wait for inactivity. Plenty of time. Plenty of time. In fact, the construction train's going to have to wait longer. Wait for time past at least a minute. And also five seconds of inactivity. Oh, cool, cool. Where are your labs? Um, just over here. I'm, I, I mean to move them eventually. If we're going to have... If we're going to have crude oil core fragments that we get from elsewhere. 
I don't know if I'm going to bother with those now. They're so... I mean, it is an infinite source, but it's so much slower than the unbelievably abundant crude oil that we've got on planet. It will give us some regular core fragments and stone and stuff, however. I think it gives us a bit more, even. Um, let's see. Where was that thing that I built? Uh, it's regular core fragments, stone, and crude oil itself. The regular core fragments also give some crude oil. Not a whole lot. No, it left! God damn it. Worst possible moment. Okay. Come back here, please. Wait. Oh, it needs more... It actually needs more fancy scaffolding. Never mind. Go reset. And then come back here. And wait for inactivity. Alright. Grab our blueprint again. May as well do what we can with the construction train. Actually, except for the part where we place um, bulk rail loaders. Which, when we place the bulk rail loader here with the blueprint, it's not going to connect the wire properly. If there's already one there. I like how we don't have to worry about the constant combinators summoning trains already, because we just happen to not place these two pieces of fancy scaffolding. How much are we asking for? Um, 2.1k, that should be fine. Cool, cool, cool. Now, when are you going to be ready? Pretty soon. We don't really need more scaffolding right now. Pretty sure we placed all the scaffolding we need. So, come on down. Oh, that's the copper train. Should I go ahead and put radar construction pylons dotted around so we can always see? It might impact UPS a little bit, but if we, like, follow a train, especially with LTN screensaver, instead of this map view, we're always going to be able to actually see the damn thing. Blank data cards go burr. Alright, now we should be able to actually build this thing. Fantastic. Are we actually going to get it done in one? Couple of signals missing up the top. But uh, yeah, it looks like it. Let's switch this on, switch this on. And to the surprise of no one, we probably don't have experimental biomass ready right now. What are we short on these days? Nutrient gel? Chemical gel? Which is probably petroleum, not manufacturing speed. We just ran out of petroleum here the moment that I came to look. <laughs> okay. Never enough petroleum. Actually, how much petroleum do we have on the ground? Is it a logistics bottleneck? Ooh. Not ooh? Not ooh at all? This one has a lot. It's kind of weird. Oh. Oh. I, um... I 
think I see why. I think I see why this station in particular has a lot of petroleum to offer. Because once again, I was too careless when I removed the old power poles. Wait, does the construction train even have the little... Little power poles? The add-ons? Uh, it's probably easier if I look here. It does not, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, no. Alright, let's sort that out. Add on power poles. And I'm going to need a whole other stack for those. Are they coming? Or do I not have them automated downstairs? We do have them here, just not very many. Um, I can search for a signal. Add on power poles. Or I could just add them over here. Okay, within 30 seconds we should see add on power poles being built here. There we go. I did. Let me just check. Mod settings. Yeah, yeah, we're good. Alright, well, I'll have to try and remember to sort that out because we're going to have to wait a moment. Data cards. And data cards. Fantastic, we've got everything but the biomass, and we've got everything but the biomass. And look at that belt go. Okay, back to the drawing board while that happens. Unless we've got... Uh, add-on power poles are already on the way. I'll come back to that in a minute. Okay. Let's work on our next build. Probably keep that there. We'll just remove parts we don't need later on. Alright. So we need which? Bioelectric data and cryogenics data. Bio... Well, first of all, what machines do we need? We need electromag facility and... Biochemical facility. Very different sizes. Electromag goes here. This will be data card. Was it cryogenics data? Yeah, it was. This is bioelectric. Cool, cool, cool. Let's place our beacons. And speed modules. Negative 70% power consumption. And 
and we need fluid in but no fluid out. Fluid in and two fluids out. Eee. This one's going to be pretty simple. This one also outputs junk. Okay. I think we should do the junk on the left. As in the, uh, the junk data card pickup will be down here, and also probably the contaminated bio sludge. What input do we need? Just two solids? At a very slow rate. So this build on the left is going to be really straightforward. We can just carefully make it fit. Oh, that does replace... Does replace the nice floor. So we're going to do a fluid output on each side, just like we did before. And that almost lines up well already. Maybe move it over one tile. Oh, we need a junk data card pickup. So there's three solid pickups we need from this place. We can probably fit an extra output on the side. Much easier on this side since these machines are really big. Although they're actually going to end up taking less vertical space at least. Because we can only fit eight of these. Looking at way more cryogenics data than we probably ever need. What does it go into? Only... only catalogs. Cool. And... about the normal amount of bioelectric data. Okay. Now how do I want to rotate this for the fluids? Um... Probably... What if we do thermofluid input from the outside? And this this is gonna be a pain. Once again we've got the crisscrossy zigzaggy fluid outputs. Nasty. The middle ones, at least, are gonna behave. Oh, that doesn't quite reach. Figures. What if we do it like this? Then we couldn't possibly output the thermo fluid. Alternatively, I could make it take up more space vertically. We do have some space. Quite a bit, actually. Maybe I will do that. Alright. So if we were to... Perhaps... Do we have the option to do... Yeah, we do. We can either do bio sludge or thermo fluid output down the middle. Um, I think we'll do the bio sludge output down the side because it's going to come over here, right? We could also do the extra output here. It might be more convenient. As long as. Oops. 
solid input is not going to be difficult. Fastest one is 10 per second. Cool, cool, cool. Let's do a couple of drop-offs up here. That's that's a pickup. And don't forget some signals over here. Okay. Should be pretty straightforward except for all the pipe nonsense. How much pipe do we need to make this reach one off? That's kind of nasty. About a fiver. Fiver works. We could obviously have this one connect here. And like this. And we only have two solid inputs, so we're going to just use a shared belt. And we're not recycling any inputs or anything. That part's pretty straightforward. It's only dealing with the pipes that's any kind of headache. Okay. If that's going to look like this, this one should look like this. Either way, we're doing the thermofluid input on the outside. Alternatively, we could do bio sludge in the middle. Don't think I want to do that. Okay. So thermofluid's just gonna connect like this. It's gonna end up being inconvenient a little bit. Well, that's not bad. So what do we need here for a fiver to make that reach? At least it neatly fits past um, our beacon. Very neatly, actually. And I could just do this like so as well. I think I will do that. But like that. Pretty sure that doesn't reach. Yeah, and that looks pretty tidy. Except then the belt, the way it lines up, is kind of sketch. We could always move this over a little bit. It's purely aesthetic anyway. Alright. Like that. And... Bio sludge. It's gonna have to be... Well, over here we could do it like this. That's pretty straightforward. And I could either do it out like this on this side, which would actually look pretty consistent, except it's like rotated, or we could try and make bio sludge meet up over here. That's actually super convenient. Uh, if I do this, it's probably going to complain about mixed fluids, but I don't think I care. Yeah, it would 
but it's not actually going to cause any problems. We don't have to have a have worry about this one. Cool, cool, cool. Um, so bias lodge can be here. Um, thermo fluid can be here. Junk data cards can go here or here. That should work just fine. Let's make some more scaffolding up here. And by scaffolding, I mean fancy stuff. We need more of it this way, though. Master of my fate, forgot to say. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Auto save, taking its time. And we're done. And we're done. There we go. Uh, wait, wait, wait. If we're going to do two physical drop offs. Doesn't really matter if this gets imbalanced. I think we'll just do this shape again. And we should have room for our one fluid input down here. Nice. So I don't need to add anything up the top. And over here, uh, how many tiles is this? Ten figures. Let's do a couple of fives. And I guess we'll make this one a seven. Make it look a bit more symmetrical. Wait, wasn't I thinking of moving this over a tile? Well then this would be eight and this would be nine. That's going to work out even worse. Let's just do this. I can live with it. Are the pipes in the beacon now connected? In the beacon. Oh, these... Oh, good point. God damn it. It's fine. It's fine. Maybe it would look more... No, never mind. That's as symmetrical-ish as it's going to look. Alright, so fluid input is super cold. And then we have blank and sig biomass. Set filters blacklist. And go. And I sort of, kind of, forgot to apply the filters. Um, to our loaders. Significant biomass. There we go. And then... How many tiles is this? Six. That's an even number. We're going to have to have... Well... I guess I could put a pair of threes in. It's the same number of pipe segments anyway. Would it look neater this way? Yes. Well, this one has needs to change anyway. Like 
like so. I kind of like that better. Alright, so what would be the neatest way to bring this over here? Probably something like this. Yeah, I think I like that better. Uh, and I totally forgot our filter here, which is going to be convenient, because it's going to make it look like this belongs. Um, data card is cryogenics data, isn't it? Yes. Yes, it is. Right. And then junk data over here. Oh wait, which side is convenient for LTN, uh, for the train stop, either with or without LTN? I think it's this one. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, and furthermore, cool. That should work just fine. Let's have some plating over here. Uh, and why didn't it place our... I think I had to do it twice, didn't I? Okay. Just because the belts are coming up this way, I might... Oh, that's all messed up. Is that right? I think it is. Just because of the way the belts are coming up this way, I think we'll just do... this whole thing. And limit the front to... one cargo wagon. Uh, don't limit the back, actually. And set a provide stack threshold a little bit above a train load. Actually, it needs to be high priority pickup. As do all of these stations. Because they each have some kind of junk that they need to get rid of. Now then. We're going to want to merge in our junk data cards from over this side. I guess that's probably fine. Something like this. Uh, what data cards do we have here? Bioelectric. Bioelectric Gatu. And this one's, as I said before, is going to be really straightforward. Oh, wait, it has the same inputs except the fluid. Easy peasy. So the input's going to have basically the exact same shape. And don't forget to tell LTN what we have here. Same thing again. Exact same thing over here. And the fluid in this case is ion strim. And then I think this reaches with regular little pipe connections.
Alternatively, I could have done it down the middle. It's fine. This will be a bit more consistent looking, I think. Unless I want to do it like this and then... No, it's fine. Does that reach? I think it does. Cool. And... that's it. There's our new data card built. Oh, don't forget the output. Oh, there's no output fluid from this one. It's just this has two. And that's already connected. Seems good. Cool, cool, cool. Let's start tidying up. I'll build here. A little bit more, please. Maybe a little bit less than that. Okay. Doop, and doop, and doop, and doop. Perhaps like that. Down this goes over here. Maybe some diagonal corners on this one. Whoops. Whoops. What have I done? That, that's more like it. That's more like it. And then... Like this, perhaps? Okay. Kinda like how that looks already. Can we get rid of some of this extra stuff over here? And that looks kind of weird. That looks worse. Well, oh, that actually looks super consistent. Okay. And then... I kind of want these to be floating. No, 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 that's not what we did this side. I don't know. I feel like this is going to look inconsistent no matter what. I can live with that. Alright, train stop names. Uh, here we are picking up. Oh, it's active pickup. High priority. Data cards. Bioelectric. And also contaminated bio sludge. And priority. Provide stack threshold 100, fluid is 60k, long trains only, don't forget to tell LTN about the fluid. And on this side as well. Oh, I think top right has no bio sludge output. Oh, true. 
Uh, about this. I think that's going to be less untidy than putting something up here just for this one. Just jam it in there. Alright, we have another junk data card active provider. And this is active provider 4, 25 thermo. Oh, wait, no, it's negative 10 thermo. And also cryogenics data. And the settings should be the same as this one. Oh, and it should probably have the color of the purple station. 1550155. If I copy settings, it's going to copy everything. There we go. There goes our junk data. Perfect. Um, station name. It's going to be kind of similar to start with. So we're requesting... SIG biomass, blank data card, and then some kind of fluid. Copy that. And over here, it's going into Electromag Facility. What's that? Magnet. Magenta, I thought so. It's a soft search. And out comes uh, bioelectric data. And I'm not going to bother mentioning that also out comes junk. And here we have biochemical facility and out comes uh, cryogenics data. Cool. What the time where you live right now? Uh, it is 21.39. I think top right. Yes, yes, yes. Pelican. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Fake humanoid as well. And Nugta, I guess. Okay, I think that is probably... Oh, I forgot to do the LTN requests. Request stack threshold 160k for the fluid. Wires are connected. Let's get rid of the cheat inputs so we don't have to bother to get rid of them later. And... Uh, we are requesting... The solids are the same. Significant biomass. Let's go for two train loads. And blank data cards. Rate consumption should be pretty similar. Uh, it's not that similar, but it's slow for both of them. So I think if we go for like... 5.5k again... Five hundred divided by ten. It's gonna take most of a minute. This one should be more like seven point five K, I think. Alright, and then thermo uh sorry, iron stream. And thermo fluid super cooled. And that should be it. Alright, check the station names. Check our wiring. And 
pretty sure we're good to go. Let's go with bioelectric data, cryogenics data. And 86.25.1 is our snap to grid. That's a lot of extra scaffolding in the middle, actually. Let's clean up some of that. At the very least. Maybe not quite that much. Could maybe do it like that. That sort of works. Yeah, I think I like that better. And then this looks more like what I had in mind. And maybe over here as well. Fair enough. Alright, blueprint. Bioelectric, cryogenics. Eighty-six twenty-five one, and go. Okay. Seems good. And we know exactly where we want to build it as well. And we've already got most of the uh, solar panels in place. Ooh, I need to be a bit careful with this one. Uh, we're not going to quite do it with the usual blueprint. I guess I could just probably place this here and then remove the ghosts from up here. I think it's going to be easier if I... Blueprint like this. Just toss that in the common pool for a moment. Way down the bottom where I'll actually find it. And... Carefully place it here. Fantastic. Also, this goes here. And we need some scaffolding. Is that actually four? No, it's not. Pretty sure that goes there. Alright, let's grab our scaffolding train. Hopefully it has enough scaffolding. Wait here for a bit. And what did we need for our build? 12 electromags and 8 bio what's its. And 12 electromag. There we go. Probably don't need that much pipe this time either, so we might be able to get this done in one. Let's make sure we place our solar panels. Fantastic. Uh, yeah, we're definitely not carrying enough space platform plating for these builds. Let's go get some more.
At least neural gel is saturated. So is nutrient gel, actually. We're missing experimental genetic data. That's what we're usually missing to make the experimental biomass. And we're usually missing biochemical for that, and we're usually missing biomass for that. Did we get the same problem here? We did. Okay. Let's just bump up the provide stack threshold for that one. Where's it going? Oh, the new build. Or one of the new builds. Fantastic. And there's our data cards. D hose, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, we've actually made a decent amount of this already. Cool, cool, cool. Where's our train? It's waiting for way too much scaffolding, which we don't need right now. I should probably redesign the loader for this thing. Since we're putting so much less uh, space platform scaffold in these containers, when it unloads, it drops it all over the place. I should put some filtered storage chests for scaffolding here. That's probably fine. Alright. Lots of redundant scaffolding at the old space research setup. Oh, you mean the scaffolding here? Yeah. How much is this? 29,000. <laughs> Maybe we should pick it up. All right, looks like that part's done. And... There's the last of our data card, but no! God damn it. I forgot. Um, We need this little temporary blueprint that I made. So that we don't put stuff up here. Hopefully the bots didn't struggle too much because of that. Looks like they'll be fine. Trains are already incoming, probably with blank data cards and not our precious, precious biomass. Yep. Away goes our train. Here comes some thermo. And did we actually get this built in one? I think we did. I think we did. Cool, cool, cool. So this will be more blanks coming in. There is still a piece of straight rail on the top left intersection. Good point. Okay. There we go. And this one isn't actually connected. That could be a little bit of a problem. And this one as well. All right, construction train, I'm sorry I sent you back when I wasn't actually ready. Uh, I kind of want to wait till it's finished loading so I can send it straight back to the loader. Should 
Should only take a few more seconds. Should only take a few more seconds. There we go. So, please park here, I guess. And come straight back to the loader. There should be no need to unload random stuff. Actually, I guess you'll be carrying slightly more rail than usual. And it might end up in the wrong cargo wagon. Oh well. It's probably fine. The thing with construction trains is they're hugely quicker than spiders. Yes. They really, really are. And you can give them weight conditions and stuff. It's not perfect, but... It's a lot less, you know, having to remember... Either remember that a Spidertrons are here and wait till they do their thing, or like... Give them a bunch of arbitrary zigzag commands so that they theoretically spend enough time there. Ooh, this is already saturated with decompression data. We're halfway to radiation data. This one makes one decompression data per experimental biomass. So we know where that went. Let's add some tags. Bioelectric is here. And cryogenics is here. And that right there is tier 2 biodata cards. Oh, tier 3, sorry. This is tier 1 and 2. Uh, this, like, this is 1, this is 2, and this is 3. And I think we'll put 4 up here, probably. So now I need to do the copy-paste job for... Actually, this will be the last one, right? Unless Deep Space is going to look the same. It might. No, Deep Space needs Cryonite Rods as well. Cool. So this will be the absolute last time that we have to copy-paste edit uh, to make catalog builds. I mean, we might copy-paste edit just a little bit more to make the deep space. We'll see. We shall see. Okay. That's probably fine. Um, catalog? No. That uh, lot. Here we go. We copy material three and four. Should have the same thermofluid requirements. Why was this? Oh, that must mean I haven't set the recipe for bio three yet. There we go. Do we have the reagents? I don't know if I've made them yet. Let's search reagent storage all surfaces. And nothing. Okay. I think we made the reagent build perhaps though. I can see. It's not under like components or something. What goes into reagent? Oh, I don't remember this. Uh, glass, lithium, vulcanite block, vitamin lounge extract. And we have to use centrifuges if we want productivity bonuses. Yeah, no, I don't think I've done that yet. It's fine. Um, let's go back to this lot. We're doing bio, oops, bio three on this side for catalogs. 
And yep. 273 and out comes 25. Uh, and this one's going to be catalog 4. Which will be the exact same shape. We just have to change the signals. So 6k bioelectric uh, cryogenics decompression and radiation exposure and up here comprehensive uh, comparative genetic decompression resistance neural anomaly data fascinating and radiation resistance data and then one two auto save if i if i click this it's probably not going to commit is it You're breaking my flow, autosave. Alright, one, two, three, and four. That looks right. Copy, paste, flip. And this one is comparative, deep compression resistance, neural anomaly, radiation resistance. And copy, paste, flip. That was the right... Was that the right catalog for... Oh, it wasn't, actually. Whoopsie daisy. Good catch. Now just the station name. Which is a bit of a pain, but it's fine. We'll survive. This one's easy, at least. Catalog 3. And catalog four. And then. I wonder if I'll ever be picking up catalog fours with long trains. Maybe I should block this off. We'll see. All right, station name. We are making cat three. And once again. Bioelectric, this one, this one, this one, easy enough actually, and cut for, uh, narrative, and so on, and so forth, there we go, alright, blueprint time, I think, I'm pretty sure that's right. Well, it'll be easy to fix if it's not. Bio catalog three and four. Tiles and train stop names, 86251. And for some reason we have two regular flat solar panels. Easily remedied. And that's basically it. It killed the name. Mm. Three plus four. Okay. 86251. <laughs> All right. That's it. Let's paste it down somewhere. Um, I just realized our scaffolding train is probably... Why do we have so relatively little scaffolding? I know it's all in the spaceship, but... Okay, we got 19,000. We are requesting from the rail network 35k. Uh, 
100, 100, 25k. Surely it should be bringing us more scaffolding. If we had more scaffolding. Ooh, owie. We're out of heat shielding. Yikes. Uh, how much extra does this cost? Heavy girder and steel plate. So that's not bottlenecked at all, as far as we know. Heat shielding. There seems to be a shortage. Uh, well, there's an amount of it here. That's from Nalvis, though. Wait. That can't be the only pl- What? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No sulfur? Okay, that's terrifying. Um... That is... That is actually terrifying. Search product sulfur. That's obviously an old bit of spaghetti. There's no petroleum. Okay. Oh, this should be advanced chemical plants anyway. Get more productivity bonus out of it. We've got two builds like this right next to each other. Since there's no petroleum here, this is actually a golden opportunity to replace them. And then we'll go... Move our bottleneck, um, so we get more oil, more petroleum. Ah uh, yes, cascading problems? Yeah, you don't want your bottlenecks to be at the beginning of your production chains. Much better to be saturated every step along the way, in my opinion. Alright, um... Where am I going? What was I doing? Oh yeah, yeah, advanced chemical plants. Well, we have the construction train for that. Um, let's head on down. Pretty sure it's carrying them already. Because they actually stack way better, even though they're huge. And we'll park ourselves up here, out of the way. I knew we were using up a lot of petroleum, but yikes. Big yikes. Galactic-sized yikes. Oh, of course you would drop off petrol. Okay, it's about to run out. Drop off petroleum right when I'm about to work with it. Let's disable this one as well. As soon as the petroleum runs out, as soon as this whole thing clears... Ooh, red belt. I'm feeling nostalgic. It looks like this was upgraded from yellow belt, actually. Look at that four-length underground. I just took my ship and filled it with 500 rocket probes and 500 arco collectors. <laughs> nice. Hashtag space trip. Woohoo, side quests? Always side quests. Alright, um, so basically I want... I hope this fits here. I could always move it over it, I guess. It's just fluid input. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can do whatever we, we want here. Bonk? What was the bonk for? Verza? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, we're not exactly going to be losing a lot of petroleum this way. Um, we're probably going to have bot problems, though. I kind of want to keep those belts there. And we want advanced 
chemical plants. We're not going to need very many to go much faster than what we had. Uh, don't forget some prod modules. What tier of modules do you default towards using? Tier 3. I, I want more than like one or two tiers of upgrade if I'm going to take the time um, to, to change what tier of module I'm using. And we're not ready to spam tier 6. That is a phenomenal amount of resources. Uh, whatever. Okay. So we're going to fit as many of these around the beacon as we can. Might have to move these belts actually after all. And I could always fit even more under the one beacon, but power's not much of a problem these days. Uh, and I don't want to... hold up. If that did go there, I'd have to move it over like five tiles or so. We probably could go ridiculously overkill here, but then how would the trains even keep up with it? Um, if we're making sulfur here, what kind of speed are we at? 3.4... 3... 3.4 thousand petroleum gas per second. I think this is enough for one block, to be perfectly honest. Um, we can probably, probably ditch a couple of these, as a matter of fact. First stop, we'll launch 50 here and go to next field. Very nice. So 10 each. In perfect sync, I see. Very, very nice. Even in labs, you don't use the very high level modules. Hmm, what would it take to make... Well, let's see. Unless I want to limit it to just one lab, uh, we need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 48. 48 prod 6s, uh, which means... 96 bio catalog 2s, that's the least of our worries. Uh, 140 times 48, 6,720 Vitalik Reagent, 4 times whatever this is, 200 Bio Scrubbers, no, that's not right. No, it's 48 times 4 times this, 48 times 50 times 4. 9,600 bio scrubbers, uh, 192 bio catalog one, that's the least of our worries. And I think this is doubled again. I could be underestimating this even. Uh, at least 46,000. Vitamelange extract. And quite a bit of machine learning data. I don't know, might be worth it, but I think I'd rather work on other things. Okay, uh, we might be able to keep our belt shenanigans over here. Indeed. We can put water here, perhaps.
Uh, that's supposed to be petroleum, isn't it? Whoops. Uh, I want to put petroleum here. Just feels right. That's going to go there, isn't it? Oh, we might need pumps or something. For this to actually go max speed. Uh, what are we looking at? 1.15k on one side. Uh, a pump can go theoretically 18,000, but it'll slow down for each uh, pipe segment between it without another pump. So I'm thinking 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 pipe segments is probably fine. For that to go max speed. And then this would have to go down here. If we're going to do the same thing. Uh, we could still put the water in. So that should be fine. I don't love the slight asymmetry here. But what are you going to do? Uh, how are we going to supply enough water for this? 2.3k. That's not that bad. Let's do it in the only way that can be consistent over there. Um, and we should probably do something similar with the water, actually. How many tiles is this? Seven? So, five with a pump? Yeah, we could do that. That'd be ludicrously fast. Till we get over here. I don't think we need another pump to supply that one fast enough, but it's probably fine. And then like this. And the pumps actually line up on the other side. And then... Did I break the water supply? I did. I think it was... I don't know. Actually. How much water do we need on this? Oh, oh, this should have advanced chemical plants as well. 1.12k, holy crap. Holy crap. Um, that's connected over there already. Okay, I think I want... Something like this. Is that space pipe? No, it's not. And if there's any excess water after those pumps, I guess they can go in here. Uh, and then I kind of want to be able to take from that big container to support this. Nah, I should probably just... 2.3k. This can only do 1250. Bring it down a bit. And then we can have another pump there. That might be super unnecessary. Okay, forget about that. So that should be able to supply 2,500 water to this thing. Without any trouble, I hope. Now, we're going to need to redesign this entirely, but I'm pretty sure we would only need one of these to keep up the same speed for sulfuric acid. 
let's see. It's almost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just one of these is almost as fast. Let's do two. Wait, how does that? That consumes more water to make barely any more sulfuric acid. Yeah, that's how prod modules work, indeed. Alright, let's do a couple of these. And where am I going to put them? It's probably going to be a lot easier to size it than it was to, to shape it than it was this stuff. Alright, first things first. Get rid of it all. Get rid of all this clutter that we don't need to make our new build look anything like. And maybe just put a couple of these on either side of each other, or even just like this. Just like that. Seems good. And we need tons of water. 2,000 per second, jeez. Should probably put a pump there. And... Another one over here, perhaps? I'm pretty sure three pipe sections, or four pipe sections, won't slow the water down that much. So 100 collectors in one location gives 24 spheres, 50 launches was 18. Uh, so I got six more from the additional 50, ouchie. So where would you draw the line for the diminishing returns? and say, this will have to do. Alright, so we need two pumps with very minimal... Yeah, that's actually... That's actually perfect already. And I'll put another one, like, here. How far does that reach? Quite as far as I would have thought. Uh, can I f put this here at least? I'll just put another pump. Perfect. Alright, theoretically that should be able to go burr. And how, much, how fast do we need iron? 9.6 per second. Let's just give it a superior, why not? Or I could just give it loaders. Probably be more UPS friendly. Speaking of loaders, how fast is this output? 202 per second. That's more than two purple belts. Uh, okay then. Might need some... Might need some help here. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. It was six belts of red, though. Oh, I see. Do I have room to do something like that down here? I don't think I do. Pretty sure I don't. I could output... How fast are they individually? 25 per second. So red is still okay. 
And then we do it like this. And then like this. So it's eight red belts. I think you need to merge these ones up here. And put them in the middle. And this will all be purple. Where am I, where's my purple upgrade? Here it is. Me as well. So it's just going to do merge. Uh, how am I going to merge it in this space? I want to make it symmetrical if I can. I could always do it from up here, I guess. No, I can do it like this. Easy. Easy-ish. Give me that purple belt. Multicolored madness? Cool, cool, cool. Probably could have been green belt. Green's 60 per second, right? Not that I carry any green belt, because I just skipped it. So that I wouldn't have uh, quite so much. It's 96 per second. Where is it coming from? When you get rid of all of this, we can probably bring our iron in this way, actually. How fast do we consume iron? 19 per second. Another red loader. And down here as well. Seems good. And then... 48 per second each, but we don't need so many different belts here, just jam it in there. I think the bots are having a time. Yes, indeed. And... Grab whatever they drop in here. And... Grab whatever they drop here. Uh, and for some reason we're missing space pipe. Do I not normally carry space pipe down here? I guess I don't. We have space pipe here though, right? We... Sort of do. I've got a bunch of regular space pipe. We can handcraft it into the handful of six fives. Make it twelve, because we're going to do this again. What we need? So where's our space pipe, anyway? I don't think we're making it down here. Alright. Easy enough. Uh, and then let's switch it back on. 
Assuming, of course, that we'll get a petroleum delivery, which is not going to happen for a, for a little while. Um, but we can definitely go ahead and decon all of this mess. And probably all of this mess. May as well keep that water there. What's this water for? Another block. And then copy paste. And then help the bots with their troubles. There, 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 there. Just give me all those belts, actually. All those as well. And all of these, I guess. Oh crap, that's not what I meant to do. One too many clicks. Probably shouldn't have been holding control anyway. Hopefully we can get all of this built now. Nope, we've still got hoverbots. Also, the beacon is in the way. Uh, and do we have water coming in in the exact same spot? We sort of do, but not over here. Um, I might need some more pumps to make this work properly. As in full speed. Should probably use some steel pipe here anyway. Um, down here. Fantastic. Is that done? I think it is. Let's grab our poor little butts. And what? Why do we still have bots hovering? There's free space in all three of these containers. Is it from a different robot network? Oh, it is. It's this old thing. Oh, no. Okay. Um, do I have a cons... Do I have a storage chest on me? Yes. I think that might cause pandemonium, but let's find out. It's dropping off a bunch of used up uranium fuel cell. No! No, please! Oh god. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Um, those are supposed to be... Oh. Well, that'll fix that. Just make a giant request for them over here. Is this thing working? There's no stone output. Oh crap, there's no... oh no. Uh, let's go fix that as well. I could do an active provider here, but I don't think that's necessarily helpful. Uh, I could definitely request all of the 238 here. Might be better though if we have a couple of separate chests. The 
compounding effect after higher tier affecting of higher tier rod modules is enormous. The difference between tier three and tier nine is nearly five times after five production stages. Do you mean to use them or the cost of making them? I'm guessing you mean uh, to use them, right? All right, filter inserters. Uh, I only have superior filters. That's what we're using now. Uranium 238 and stone. Oh, and there's tritium as well. Um, we just haven't accumulated enough. I, I never dealt with tritium yet, still. Let's just unlimit our storage for that. Uh, and make a couple of chests for tritium. Okay. Good thing we stumbled onto that. This needs to be a high priority. Assuming, of course, that... That we even have a place for a train, a short train to take bulk rail, I mean, uh, Uranium-238. Hmm, I know it has to go up to the Spellevator. But I think that train is only coming here. Hmm. I could just belt it over. No, that's sketchy. I could give it the same train stop name as this one. I think I will do that. And maybe we can fit the second one of these over here. Where's our train? Oh, it's out of range, probably. Get up here. Why should I walk to you? Answer me that. And we're probably going to need some slightly unusual rail here. Or not. That should work, actually. Alright. Uh, in that case... We'll do the all push it to one side. Limit this side. Allow trains of any size. Provide stack threshold 110. And... Same station name and we should do a decider combinator so that there has to be enough stuff because the vanilla schedule train is going to be coming here now perfect oh not so perfect Let's copy the combinator. I don't have to do the math. And apparently this isn't enough to summon a train? Oh, I'm not reading the other container. No, I, th I think that should still be enough. Train limit, zero. If... Oh, it's, if it's equal. If it's greater than or equal. There we go. That should be fine. 
Uh, I'm pretty sure in space we have no shortage of 238 though. So it might take a while before some of this is removed. Perhaps. We'll have a look at it later. Let's go back to the mall. I swear a spell elevator becomes the common name when we eventually build space elevators, IRL. I'm going to be mildly upset. Well, I have good news and bad news. How's our science looking? Oh, uh, we didn't build the catalog three and four yet, did we? I think I got distracted. Well, I'm sure I got distracted. That's... That hardly needs... I don't think anyone needs to be persuaded that that is the case. Let's wait for inactivity. Uh, like a minute. I don't think that's enough scaffolding. Oh yeah, we were... This is why we're here. We had no scaffolding because we had no... Heat shielding because we had no... Sulfuric acid because we had no petroleum. And then I decided to build... Better productivity uh, modules for petroleum. Is this thing loaded? I think it is. And I forgot to place some of these fancy pipe. We still haven't had a single... Oh, I didn't switch this on. That would probably help. Yeah, we do have a ton of petroleum here. Holy crap. Two train loads, I believe. Let's see how it goes. Looks like... There's not enough water here. Uh, there's no water here because I messed up this piping. Okay. Um, I could put another pump there, I guess. Uh-oh. And it works. Cool, cool, cool. Fantastic. That's pretty fast. That's also pretty fast. Nice. Alright, so we're obviously, obviously going to be bottlenecked on petroleum for a while longer. It's the endless task list, indeed. Do you also play other automation games such as Dyson Sphere Program? Uh, I don't know what Combine and Conquer is. Satisfactory, yes, all of those except that one I hadn't heard of. Although I haven't played much Dyson Sphere Program. Now, where is our bottleneck for Petlolium? There's quite a lot here. Oh, I forgot to fix... Wait, 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 stop, 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 stop. No! Uh, that's fine. I forgot to place our little baby power poles down here so that we could tell LTN that we've got petroleum. Uh, our storage still hasn't filled up, so ultimately we haven't lost any time there. Petroleum here is perpetually empty. Crude oil looks okay. Petroleum here is empty. Crude oil looks not so okay. So our next step is... Well, first of all, uh, I think I would like to switch off the requests for crude oil in the old blocks. 
because I want to update to the newer, faster ones with fewer machines and higher productivity bonuses. I think now that we are bottlenecking on crude oil itself, or apparently not, I guess. Anyway, now's a pretty good time. Alright, green wire goes here, and green wire goes here. And then we should immediately get a train coming for patrol. Ho holy crap. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's a few trains coming for petroleum, alright. Yes, indeed. Uh, and then... What's the problem here? That red wire is not actually connected. That it help. Also, there's a few signals missing. Do I not have robots now? Surely, yeah. There they go. Okay. Back to the mall for now. Let's have a look at our crude oil pickups. That's pretty damn full. And... Uh... That is also pretty damn full. Other games are not so satisfactory. Pipe also wrong at second location. Lube pumps need red wire too. I think I fixed that. Oh, on this one. On the old one. Good call. There we go. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I fixed both of these. Cool, cool, cool. Now then. Um, I want to wait until this more or less drains. Um, so I can replace it. Sulfur, water slash petroleum. Sulfur, water, slash, no! Oh, the other one, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, wait. Oh, that damn other robo port, oh, robot network picked it up. Now we gotta go fix that again. We are just chasing squirrels in the last couple of hours. Okay, so it was, oh no, this is the one, it's this one, right? And then we delete water from all of this, and don't forget to put our corner connections back, that might be a good idea. Cool, cool, cool. So that's going to be... Or sulfur for 60 times 1.32. So 60 over 4 is 15 times 1.32. We get 19.8 sulfur per... No, we get 1 sulfur... Wait, what? I think I calculated that wrong. Uh, 60 over 4 is how much... How much petroleum it costs. So 15 petroleum for one sulfur. Um, is it divided by 1.34? Yeah, I think it is. 11.2 petroleum for one sulfur. 
rounding up. So from 60k... Uh, we should get 5.3k sulfur. Which, if I'm not mistaken, is more than enough to fill a train load. Cool. One train load of petroleum becomes more than one train load of sulfur. I like it. Very good. Now then. It's time to play Where's That Bottleneck? I'm pretty sure it's going to be... No? I was going to... There's no... Oh, the old block here has no... Has no beacons. Also, I killed the power over here. Whoops. Um, let's fix that real quick. Oopsie daisy. What's this thing missing? I think it's just run out of space for a certain... Oh. Wait, what? Yeah, no, we've run out of storage space over here. Uh, let's fix that, shall we? Where's our construction train? There it is. Cool, cool, cool. No, 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 don't go home. There's a freezer. Halt. Halt and Z. Wait for your bar, oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, I said for... I thought it was like, actually, since it was coasting, that probably is like I was driving it manually. That train could have absolutely murked. Let me see the signal. Yeah, it doesn't react until I pass it. Oh. Okay, have our bots caught up? I think we can go home now. And I don't understand how when we've turned off everything but these two blocks. Crude oil up here. Oh no. Oh no. That might help. I think I remember why that was disconnected. Oh no. But how did we... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, look. Makes sense. There we go. Crude oil is on the way. Let's make one more crude oil uh, pump jack farm. Uh, what, what am I looking for? Crude and entity. We got... Where's the nearest patch that we haven't tapped yet? I kind of want to see one that's close to up here, actually. That's got 4.8 mil. Yeah, let's go build that. Ooh, can I build it with a Spidertron? Spidertron, Spidertron. And we make ourselves Spidertron. Worth a try with Autocraft. Let's find out what we got. So what does go into Spidertron? Uh, indeed, we can make it with the regular old assembly machine. We need biomass from upstairs. Four exoskeletons. Eight portable RTGs. I think I haven't made any yet. Four rocket launchers, two radars, one biomass, four, 16 rocket control units, 16 heavy girders, 
150 LDS and a partridge in a pear tree. Um, we've got everything except the LDS, really? Uh, that's alarming. 2,500. That is 50 stacks. Are we out of LDS? Kinda, yeah. I should do a build of these with um, the advanced assembly machines, but we don't gain any productivity bonuses out of that, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, we're actually short plastic, it's not production speed. But I should definitely be replacing builds like this with the advanced assembly machine versions for the sake of UPS anyway. Um, but yeah, plastic will go faster when we fix petroleum. Let's not worry about the Spidertron for now. Uh, we need to bring ourselves up here, ish, and I'll grab that one blueprint. Uh, I think we have some some little corners here somewhere that would fit with our rail blocks if we eventually build here, but I don't think we will, to be honest. And there's our oil. I'm pretty sure we don't need double rail up this way. I, no, 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 stop, stop, stop. God damn it. Wait here indefinitely. Spiders, indeed. Which are easier to wrangle? Trains on manual or tubes? <laughs> Definitely trains on manual. With dupes, I can't say you only have yourself to blame if something happens. I really can't. Okay. Um, I actually wanted to remove all of this and put this about here. Whoops. Why are my bots not behaving? Is the construction train trying to do it, but it's being all weird? Yes. Yes, it is. The bots tried to chase it all the way up here. Okay. Let's put it on manual. And I guess I'll give it a hand. Why can't I drive it right? Oh. Wallace and Gromit go burr. Alright, let's see. That's actually not that much throughput of heavy, of crude oil, even if it is 4.8 mil. Uh, what do we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7? That looks about right. And also very bright. Um, I wonder if... There we go. That's a bit better. Okay. We'll do a regular old pickup station right about here. And apparently wait for the bots even more. How are you all liking the sunglasses? I mean, 
like visualizer mod. All right, there goes our boat. And then we want three of these here. If only so that this will reach. This will be crude oil provider. And then... I'm pretty sure we can cover the whole thing with a single beacon. I need to go upstairs to get some more. We want prods in... Uh, the oil pump jacks. We want pipes connecting all of this. And this as well, I guess. And this one can probably go here. And this one up here. That should be fine. Alright. Lighted pylon. Over this way. Close enough. Southernmost not connected. Alright then. Let me just pick these straight rails up as well. The ones that we don't need. It's going to bother me. Oh, I shouldn't have walked over that. I thought I was in Navsat view or something. You really have to treat rail as if it's just instant death when the trains are this fast. You are not going to get an opportunity to react to them. I guess with a jetpack, technically, you can maybe get up in the air in one frame. I don't know if it's actually one frame. Uh, but yeah, that'll do. And then... That goes there, that goes there. Perfect. And... Yeah, you're right, we didn't link this one. Pretty sure that's not going to go where I want it to. This will do. And give it some speed. What kind of speed configuration did I go for before? Um, we'll do. Also, our bots are crying again. I can't remember. Spidertrons have trash slots, right? That's one big advantage of them when we're dealing with this kind of nonsense. Alright, what's our rate from this one? 1.2k per second. Not bad. And then we've got... Uh, 2.4k per second here. And 1.9k per second here, and that's completely ignoring all the other objects that we've got dotted around the place. Um, let's have a look at our production rate. Crude oil fluids. Um, so in the last two hours or so? We're looking at 149k per minute, or 2.48 thousand per second. And we've got the capability right here to deal with only 784 per second. Uh, we should have... Three times as many of our new oil blocks, and I've switched off all the others at the moment. I'm waiting for them to drain so that I can 
uh, so they can deconstruct them and replace them without wasting too much. Staruk, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Jetpack state means game creates new instance of character. As a side effect, original character is no longer a target of enemy attack. Spits in... Spits in the fly? Oh, as in projectiles in flight will disappear? Is that if they're the type of projectiles that are like homing boulders, like the old ones? Fighters will stop attacking until they pass again. Yes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the jetpack technically kills you. And we already have multiple trains queuing up. Oh, I thought I saw two. We already have a train picking up crude oil from here. Cool, cool, cool. Now, if we've only got two of these blocks, our maximum petroleum is going to be 800 per second, which is quite a lot, honestly, but we need more than that. Um, we've got quite a lot of petroleum to go through here. And not so much left over here. We've got a bunch of heavy and light oil to convert still. But that is hardly maximum throughput. Hmm. It might take longer than I realized or would like. To get rid of the old... get rid of the old fluids if we want to replace them with the new builds. Actually, do that. Is that oxygen build meant to be missing power for the water pump? Probably not. It's not wonky, you're wonky. Still had plenty of hydrogen here, luckily. Alright, here we are back at the mall. What am I... Why am I not able to... There we go. Uh, and we want to send this thing back down the... Wait, 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 no. I want to ride it back down this elevator. Um, I am carrying all sorts of crap right now. Okay. Uh, what did I come here for again? Oh yeah, uh, wide area beacons, because I don't want to, I don't want to have a train automatically bringing down catalog ones of energy just for that. Especially since I need to come and get these so very rarely. Okay. Ooh. Oh, that's broad. Dope. I mean, that's good, but it wasn't what I thought it was. Three up auto save. Grab some biomass for the future spiders. Uh, next time, gadget. Next time. All right. Um, I think we're ready here to. Place. Oh, some of these escaped the perch. Okay. Oh, I see why. That's the old thermofluid build. 
They didn't actually escape the purge. They were there from the beginning. Okay. Um, 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 um. What am I doing? Construction. Wait. Indefinitely. And I think you're already holding everything you're supposed to for that build, right? Oh yeah, it's it's research servers. We've got tons of those. They stack shockingly big. Alright, wait in there indefinitely. Do I have to anchor to Foenestra to take advantage of fixed distance route? You do not. That's one of the reasons um, that I redesigned from the prototypes that I already had to go to Foenestra. Because I used to have... Uh, in the in the prototype I designed at first with the dispatching system, um, basically every ship would go to Foenestra and then Foenestra would have a single landing slash launching point and it would dispatch ships from that. Um, which was a hell of a lot easier, but it obviously has its downsides. But I do have to reach the destination. Yeah, I th I'm pretty sure I tried that. Um, I'm not a thousand percent sure, but I think I tried that on stream. Like, setting destination to Foenestra, and as soon as we're, like, in hyperspace, changing it to something else. I don't think that worked. Um, what was I doing? Dropping off a bunch of wide area beacons. That'll get back to the construction train. Um, and we wanted the beacons up here. Oh yeah, yeah, in space. Before I finish today. Let's grab our... Bio catalog 3 and 4. And catalog four. Fantastic. Trains are already on their way. Probably not all of them. I'd be shocked if we had all of them by now. Yeah, we still have the same half train load of radiation exposure data. Um, and absolutely nothing of the other two. So, th so there's one train on the way. We're always waiting for experimental genetic data, which is always waiting for biochemical data, which is always waiting for biomass, which is always waiting for... Vitamelange spice, actually. That was a bottleneck I wasn't aware of. Um, because we hadn't had that bottleneck for a while. So that's another reminder that we do indeed have a motivation to... To clear out Bombato. Looks like there's still quite a few biters left here. Um, but this is going to be our ultimate endgame Vitamelange outpost. It is about as close as it gets to the interstellar map. And uh, almost nine tenths of the way to the maximum possible planet size. So that's going to be literally almost perfect. Um... But it is taking its sweet time to clear. Also, also... Uh, Nalvis, which we've been scanning, still has a lot of scanning to go. Holy crap. We have been scanning Nalvis, right? Oops. There we go. Uh, no, we've been scanning Bombato lately. And... That's still not finished. Well, that that's not that shocking. It's a very, very, very large planet. Um, where's the scanny scan? I don't see it. Did we stop all scans? I don't remember stopping all scans. Oh, there it is. Okay, how's Nalvis though? I do want to keep scanning uh, Bombato. But if we're running out of biters to burn on Nalvis, which we are not, uh, we should probably prioritize scanning that for a little while. 
Okay. Well, I can't make scanning go faster unless I just give you the lovely experience of dragging the camera view across this barren wasteland before it populates. I mean, that's something I could do during podcast time, I guess, but even then I'm not particularly looking forward to that. So I guess we're waiting on... We're basically waiting on clearing Bombato so we can make an outpost here. I could go build the actual outposts, uh, as in the orbital outpost on Bombato, but then we'd be paying media defense ammo while we wait, and I don't really want to do that. I don't want to set up a... Normally the supply ship is the cargo ship that takes the stuff away. I don't want to set up something arbitrary to do that. I guess I could just drop off massive amounts of media defense ammo. It's kind of a waste. Um, but yeah, even though it's a very, very big planet, we are creeping towards having the entire thing scanned. That's why our autosave is taking so long these days. Uh, and then we can massively increase our Vitamelange throughput. And stop waiting quite so long on... on all of these data cards. And biomass. It's it's really all biomass, it's Vitamelange. T-Hacks, I'm looking at your blueprints and you have circuit fluid less than zero condition when it's a input pump. I assume that helps prevent mixing fluids, but how? Uh, basically, when it's fluids, this thing here, the logistic train stop output, if the train is dropping off fluids, it's trying to empty itself, right? Um, it's basically saying desired fluid of this type is negative one. Uh, it'll, it'll give you a negative one for whatever the, tri uh, whatever the train is trying to drop off. Solids don't work quite the same way, um, so watch out for that. And if it's picking up, it'll be a positive number. You could trim some planets you won't use to improve save time. Yeah, I'm aware of that. I've been waiting to be able to do that in some cases. Um, but it doesn't affect UPS too much. I'm not worried about it. What the fu- What? What happened here? How long has this been broken? Right, let's go fix it, I guess. Um, can I just send a construction train to it? LTN specialty? Yes, indeed. Yeah, you can't tell what a train is there for with vanilla stuff, unfortunately. Uh, we don't have any of this old stuff now. God damn it. Alright, I'm gonna go stand next to it before I save, before we finish today. Um, because I've already gone over time by like 15 minutes. Oh. Alright, well that's mostly fixed already. Um, I don't really want to make another industrial furnace. I could just leave this here. There we go. I need to update these to the bigger furnaces just to have fewer machines, save some UPS. Anyway, let's see who is streaming Factorio. We will be continuing Factorio tomorrow and the day after. Normally it's it starts yesterday, but I will be doing three days in a row, even though I did something different yesterday. Um, who do we have? Oh, it's Hofnix. Special event birthday edition. All right, let's go. Let's go wish Hofnix a happy birthday. Why not? New indeed. All right. Thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. My goodness, indeed. Uh, if you interested, check out the dist. 
uh, Discord or the Blueprints if you're into that, if you have any questions or anything, by all means. Till next time, stay safe. Yes, copy-paste that. Perfect. Perfection. And yeah, till next time, stay safe. Take care, fat boy, evil plug, bricks, Kimmy, and everyone else. See you tomorrow. That's why, I mean, and these are, you can do it more than once. They have more than one.